Hello, everybody. I'm Matt. And I'm Maggie. And we are... Hopefully awesome. That's right. A positive place on the internet where we nerd out about all the geeky things we love. And this week's geeky things include... Uh, let's see here. Uh, the Blue Beetle. Mm-hmm. Namor, Namor. Andor. Andor. Wanting to say the F word. Uh, and Legendary Pictures. And we're going to talk about the all-time best. Christmas movies. That's right, everybody. Mm Because this is the Hopefully Awesome Show, our weekly podcast where Maggie and I recap all the nerdy news from the past week and just kind of hang out together. Mm -hmm. It's pretty fun. If you hear a dog barking in the background, that would be our dog. It's our Lucy dog. (laughs) The dog barks are on our end. (laughs) Uh, But yeah, if this is your first time watching, we have this uh, this podcast available also on all podcast networks, and uh, or you can watch it right here on YouTube. But enough of that stuff. Maggie, are you ready to get into the news? I'm ready. Well, that's good because it's time (laughs) for the news. This new layout's got us mixed up. It does. We we if you uh, if you're returning, we have a new setup here, and we're still trying to get it figured out a little bit. Uh, But that's not the news we want to talk about. The news we want to talk about. First story on the dock here. Uh, via Variety, the first poster for Blue Beetle has been released. Look at this shit right here for video watchers. Uh, we got it pulled up. I gotta say, I love this. I do too. Love the neon aesthetic. I mean, some could say it kind of reminds you of uh, Suicide Squad. Uh, but I like it. I think it looks good. I'm a big fan of uh, neon pink, mm-hmm. oddly enough. I mean, I love blue, you know, but yeah. the fact that they're using neon pink is like a secondary car- car- mm. color with it love it i think it looks great uh and there actually is a little bit that was released with this so uh via variety cobra kai's Xolo. we're gonna say uh help me with the last name here mm. mary duenia there we go uh sorry that I didn't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry mm-hmm. about that. Uh, but he plays uh, the main guy in Cobra Kai. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, Miguel. Miguel, thank you. Uh, we'll star as the DCU's first Latinx superhero in Blue Beetle. Originally slated for an HBO Max release, Blue Beetle got bumped to a theatrical release in the same Warner Brothers Discovery shuffle that saw Batgirl get the axe. Booze as love. Um... He will star as Mexican-American teenager Jaime Reyes. Uh, Jaime Reyes gains superpowers when a mysterious scarab bonds to his spine and provides him with a powerful suit of blue alien armor. Uh, Susan Sarandon will also star, playing the villainous original character Victoria Cord, which I believe we talked about this in one of our early yeah. episodes. Uh, and the release date is August 18th, 2023. So... Blue Beetle, everybody. We're yeah. getting a fucking... Can you believe we're getting... That's right. Yeah. Heck yeah. Can you believe we're getting a Blue Beetle movie before we got the Batgirl movie? <laughs> like, or a Flash movie. Let's be honest. Let's yeah, be honest. True. You know? Shazam got two movies. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. Um, honestly, I love Blue Beetle. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I've loved Blue Beetle in the comics. I was more of a Ted Cord fan uh Jaime Reyes is, is great and honestly I, I fell in love with him watching Young Justice mm-hmm. that was where I first fell in love with him um and just that take on the character is just so cool yeah. uh but Ted Cord, he was more his was more science-based mm-hmm. like he had made everything yeah um and he had like a big flying beetle mm-hmm. uh like car not a car but like, it was like the the thing that the owl man has oh, in, yeah. in Watchmen yeah it was like that but it was a beetle <laughs> It was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited. I, I hope that, you know, James Gunn kind of maybe steps in and fixes whatever was probably wrong with it. Yeah, you know? I say he will. Um, I mean, you know, this is, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I'm just, I'm very, I'm very excited for another DC movie, another, uh, especially one with uh, a non white mm. <laughs> per, per protagonist just trying to think of the word um you know really get leaning into the diversity of the dcu mm-hmm. you know that's one of dcu's biggest uh, strong yeah. points 
And I feel like they just kind of keep not doing that. Yeah. So, I mean, especially after Black Adam, like it's really nice to still just see some, some more representation in there. Uh, Maggie, what do you think about Blue Beetle? Um, I'm pretty excited. I didn't know anything about Blue Beetle until we watched Young Justice. Young Justice. Yeah. I gotta say, watch really Young Justice. It. Watch yeah. Young Justice. If you don't, if you, if you haven't watched it, it's totally worth yeah, watching. It is. It's so good. And uh, I really enjoyed his character. But like, didn't, didn't the scarab have a personality of its own too? I can't remember. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It was like Jaime Reyes. <laughs> like yeah. it was, it was like in his head. Yeah. And like it wanted to like kill people. People, And he's like, no, we don't kill people. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Because like it, it was a part of like an alien overtaking. Yes. Kind of thing. Yeah. Cause the, the Beatles were supposed to be like, they were supposed to fuse with people to then like help kill off the majority yeah so that they could then come in and like take over the planet yeah essentially um so they would send these beetles to different planets and they would find you know one person to connect with and for some reason Hami's like (laughs) messed up like it wasn't supposed like it's not like venom where like venom has a personality and chooses (laughs) i guess in in the in the tom hardy venom right uh and like you know tom hardy's like trying to control it like it's more the the beetle itself is like i think it forgot like its main mission or something yeah uh, but it still is like designed to kill, kill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um but uh yeah so because remember the other beetles start showing up yeah i think there was what like the black beetle there was a few others i think so uh and that one of them was like uh like a praying mantis or something yeah yeah it's really cool honestly i'm a sucker for like multicolored uniforms yeah. <laughs> probably because of power rangers, rangers. <laughs> <laughs> so like i mean you know all these beetles running around yeah. it's just fantastic sorry you were you were no talking. no 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 i mean i was just trying to remember i was like am i remembering this correctly did the scarab <laughs> talk to to him um but no uh seeing susan sarandon as a antagonist i mean yeah. she does very well with that and like i'm still we, i mean this has been on like several Excuse months me. ago when we talked about this but i'm still confused by what she is because like ted cord was the original blue beetle mm-hmm. and she's playing uh victoria cord which so didn't like, they make that that character yeah, up it's for a this movie? whole original character yeah so I mean, it's just it's just weird like it's just interesting yeah and like i wonder if like if they're going to retcon some of Ted Cord stuff, like if he's more, um, I don't know, like if he's, if he stole the alien tech to create mm-hmm. the blue beetle stuff yeah. or something, I don't know. I mean, I, here's what I'm saying. Okay. And they could still do this. You, you get Alan Tudyk to play Ted Cord, and then you get Nathan Fillion to play booster gold. All right. Blue and gold. And like Jaime Reyes is still there. He's still blue beetle. And these are just these two goofballs just opening casinos and shit. Oh my God. They were in, no, for real, like in Justice League International back in the 80s, uh, they didn't know what to do with the comic book because like it just, you know, and they were basically, the comics were tanking. And so they were like kind of given free room to do whatever they wanted. Uh, and I forget who the writers are, but uh, they turned it into like a comedy and uh almost like an animal house type <laughs> comic and uh and there was an issue where booster gold and blue beetle like or it might not have been booster gold it might have been somebody else but they i think it was booster gold i don't know uh but they went and opened a casino oh my god and like they used the justice league's money to do it and stuff <laughs> wow and that's where uh maxwell lord came mm-hmm. into play like he was he was yeah. like there he was on the team like yeah he was like an assistant or something almost like alfred yeah and uh who else was that? Guy Gardner, Green, Green Arrow, Green Lantern, uh, and Batman. Batman was on the team too. Wow. Yeah. I Way think, to go, Bruce. I think Fire and Ice. And like one time, uh, Batman like punched the shit out of Guy Gardner. <laughs> it was great. It was so funny. It was so funny. Uh, but yeah, so that blue and gold thing, that's always been kind okay. of a thing. Yeah. But then the, the Blue Beetle in the comics is Ted Cord died. Mm-hmm. Uh, during like the lead up to uh, Infinite Crisis, gotcha. I think if I'm not, if I'm remembering this correctly, <coughs> excuse me. Maxwell Lord killed Ted Cord, and then Wonder Woman killed Maxwell, Maxwell Lord, Lord for killing Ted Cord. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong, but like he had been like a, a evil spy the whole time. 
Hmm. For the Justice League International. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. All right. And then in Blackest Knot, he, uh, Ted Cord came back as a zombie. Nice. And they did a special, uh, special one off issue of Blue and Gold. <laughs> but I think it's called uh, Black and Gold. Because oh, he was a zombie. Zombie, yeah. yeah. That's uh, cool. Yeah. They did it, dude. In Black is Not, they, all these characters that had died, they brought back their issues at the same numbering as the, like, the last issue of their run. So, like, Blue and Gold, we'll say, ran for 27 issues. So, the Black is Not issue was Blue and Gold issue number 28. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. And, I mean, it's just, I don't know. I love stupid <laughs> shit like that. Like, it's just, it's really cool to me, you know? Um, yeah, and then the Batman that comes back <laughs> is just, like is not Batman because he's just fucking losing his mind that's and shit. Right. They're like, "That's not Bruce. I don't know who that is." And that's how he figured out that Batman wasn't really dead. Mm-hmm. He was just lost in time. Anyway, that's way too Anyways, much stuff. Oh uh, boy, we need sorry. to move along. You get me talking about Black. It's not. And it's it's game over, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, Jaime Reyes is gonna be awesome. I'm very much looking forward to this. Almost as much as I'm looking forward to a word from our sponsors. Oh. This episode is brought to you by patreon.com slash hopefully awesome. That's right. At the $5 tier, you can have access to every episode we make ad free and have your name listed in the credits of every video. At $10, you'll be able to get access to our all new exclusive shows right here on patreon.com slash hopefully awesome. Those include Hopefully Weekly, a weekly show where Maggie and I catch up on all the things that's happened over the past week, both in our life and in the world around us. Family Game Night, a weekly show where Maggie and I will play a variety of board games from blockbuster party game all the way to Fast and the Furious heist game, whatever that is. How a heist. The Hopefully Awesome Movie Commentary that we'll do once a month where Maggie and I will watch one of our favorite films and then record us talking about it over it. Kind of like a mix between Mystery Science Theater 3000 and, uh, you know, just us goofing off and talking about nothing related to the film. And lastly, Matt plus Maggie. This is our monthly show where Maggie and I talk about our relationship. I don't think we'll be giving any advice, but hey... Tune in, it'll be fun. And if you want to go above and beyond at the $25 level, not only do you get everything that we've just talked about, but you also get a verbal shout out as our Patreon producer of the entire month. All this and more. So sign up at patreon.com slash hopefully awesome today. All right. Thank you for that word, Matt and Maggie. Now let's go on to the next story. Speaking of next stories, via the rap. Wakanda Forever villain Namor will not get his own standalone Marvel movie. Mm. Uh, so this is a this one's fun. I get it. <laughs> I talk about stuff like this a lot, and so uh, you try and keep me on the rails because I, I can try. really dive down a hole. Okay. Uh, so the reason why is not because the Namor character it wasn't like well received or they didn't like this version of it. Nothing like that. Uh, it's actually more akin to the reason why the Hulk can't have his own solo film. Uh oh. Yeah. So, via the rap, uh, the situation around Namor harkens back to the pre-Marvel Studios slash pre-Disney era of making movies out of Marvel Comics characters before the studio streamlined and controlled intellectual property. Before Marvel Studios made Iron Man as its own as its own independently produced film, the company was in the habit of licensing or selling off rights to characters to other studios like the X-Men went to Fox, Spider-Man went to Sony, etc. And Namor is one of those characters that is still controlled by another studio. Oh no. Uh, not that Namor won't be back in the MCU as Black Panther Wakanda forever producer Nate Moore confirmed he can return. Uh, Namor's situation is similar to Marvel studios deal with universal for Hulk Neither can star in his own movie because Universal Pictures has the rights to both characters. So Namor is also a Universal-owned character. <clears throat> Licensed wow. character. For whatever reason. Um, which I don't get. Like, I don't understand. Like, the rights have lapsed on... Like, when Fox deal was going on, like, Daredevil's rights lapsed. Yeah. Because they didn't make enough movies. Yeah. And so, like... How? They've, they've never made a Namor movie. <laughs> like, so, like, why is that... Yeah. How is that? How do they still have? I don't know. I don't get it. Um, like I could see the Hulk still being in play because every time they use him, that might count as like mm-hmm. Universal's rights. Maybe. I guess. I don't know. I don't know either. It's it's also freaking weird. Just buy Universal. Let Disney own Fast and Furious. 
No, nah, they can't. No. That, that would be a... That, the fact that Fox got through, like, they're never going to be allowed to buy another one like that. No. There's, there's no way. No. no. Uh, maybe Sony. That's about the only other one that they could. And only because Sony doesn't have a, a communications division. Yeah, that's like, true. Universal is owned by Comcast. Yeah. So, I mean, there's no way Disney would be allowed to own Comcast, <laughs> you know. Anyway. Mm. Anyways. Um, ba, 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 Paramount. Da, da, da. But Disney won't be able to produce a standalone movie about the character... Name more situations similar to Marvel Studios with the Hulk. Neither can start their own movie because Universal Studios. And he he can't appear by himself in marketing materials unless it's part of a series of posters. <laughs> so like this poster here, because they did a series of posters like this, that's why he was able to have his own poster. But like if they only did a, a name more only poster and like this was the only one, they, they wouldn't be allowed to do that. That's stupid. Yeah, it makes no sense. Um, marketing materials. Uh, we spoke to Black Panther, Wakanda Forever producer, more about the situation, and he acknowledged that Namor was borrowed like the Hulk. Quote, it's honestly, it honestly affects us more, and not to talk too much out of school, but in how we market the film than it does uh, how we use him in the film. There weren't really things we couldn't do from a character perspective for him, which is good because clearly we took a ton of inspiration from the source material, but we also made some big changes to really anchor him in that world in a truth that publishing never really landed on, I would argue, in a big way. Mm. Uh, This kind of complicated maneuvering isn't new to Marvel Studios. Universal's control over the Hulk has meant that no Hulk standalone movie or series could be developed at Marvel, even though... His stature has only grown in the years since Mark Ruffalo started playing the character in 2012's The Avengers. The one Hulk-centric movie released within the MCU continuity 2008's The Incredible Hulk with Edward Norton was distributed by Universal. Universal. Uh, Not that Disney hasn't played nice. The company allowed for characters from Unbreakable, which is a (laughs) Disney-owned movie, uh, to be used in a pair of Universal movies, Split and Glass, Wow. And in 2005, NBC Universal, <laughs> this one's funny, NBC Universal traded sportscaster Al Michaels, who wanted to jump from Disney owned ESPN's uh, Monday Night Football, for Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, a character that Walt Disney had created pre Mickey Mouse, but that Universal controlled. <laughs> that's the <What>? story. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why, that's why Walt went and made Mickey, because yeah. Oswald the, the Rabbit. Uh, was owned by Universal. Universal. Yeah. yeah. And uh, like he couldn't use it. Like he couldn't do anything he wanted with it. And they were getting all the money for it. And so that's why he made Mickey Mouse, which basically looks the exact same. Yeah. Except instead of big rabbit ears, he has big Mickey ears. Yeah. You know? And I think that when they did that, does it say what year was it? Yeah, 2005. Uh, Epic Mickey came out mm-hmm. after this. Yeah. And... Oswald the Rabbit yeah. was a big mm. part of that. And that's when you really started hearing about Oswald the Rabbit. Yeah. Uh, was after all that. Wow. I'm surprised Universal didn't try to fuck with it a little bit, you know? Mm. Try to fight it. Well, I mean, or not even fight it, but just like use, use it, you yeah. know, like Walt Disney's original creation. I mean, because yeah. it is, you know, unless, unless it was still almost like the whole core, like yeah. they'd have to work together on it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just find it funny that, <laughs> they were like, we'll give you this guy if you give us Oswald back. <laughs> like, I just think it's funny. Uh, and I, I I was actually wondering about the the Unbreakable stuff. The stuff like that always uh, intrigues me. Like, yeah. Because it was a Touchstone movie. Mm-hmm. And the yeah. fact that he was able to be in Split and Glass, even though yeah. those were Universal. Which is also confusing because I think there was a trilogy box set. I think there was. I think you're right. I'm like, I don't see how that happened. How the rot spark with that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't yeah, know. It's I, weird. It's weird, man. That's, that's their problem, not ours. <laughs> so, let's see. All that's left that we know of uh, is Namor, the Hulk, and the Spider yeah. verse. <laughs> apparently, of 920 characters, mm-hmm. apparently. If we're counting, like, Ro- <laughs> what's his name? I can't. Robbie. <laughs> If we're counting Robbie as oh, a yeah. character, you know, like, hey, here's Spider-Man's uh, co-worker at the Daily Bugle, Robbie. Robbie. <laughs> like, that's his movie's name. <laughs> I just don't understand why. I know Disney's made 
like made an offer to Universal, say, hey, yo, we'll yeah. give you this much money. I mean, honestly, I think it's because I think they know what they have. Yeah. And like they know that they can get anything. Yeah. And so it's almost like they're going to make more money, especially now that the Hulk is just more and more popular. Yeah. So I want to say, even though they can use the Hulk in anything. Yeah. That I want to say Universal probably still gets at least a, a cut, you know? Yeah. Like should. some sort of percentage for doing nothing. Yeah. You know? Like honestly, they're what they've made off of having uh the Hulk in the MCU is probably more than most of their movies yeah. have made. You yeah, know? definitely. Definitely more than goddamn split and glass. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry. I just wish Universal would give up and say, here you go, Disney. It's all yours. And we're going to take out this part of the park. I mean, I guess if Disney like really just dropped like a billion dollars, like two or three billion dollars, mm-hmm. then maybe. But also like you got to think like, well, what are we losing out on? Yeah. Like doing an Incredible Hulk solo film. We've kind of figured out a way to to work around that. Yeah. Uh, a Namor solo film. Obviously, oh, they can figure out that. a way to do that. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, it's it's just it's interesting that so many years later, the things that they had to mm-hmm. do in the nineties to not go bankrupt, uh, which was by a Avi Arad, by the way, the mm-hmm. guy that was the producer on the Spider Man films. Wow. Yeah, he was like the president uh, <laughs> over that, and like was like, yeah, everybody take you. He reminds me of the Salkons from the Superman movies. Yeah. Like, you know, where they're just like, hey, you know, we're going to make money here. Yeah, you know, yeah, let's make some money. Yeah. Like, they don't care if it's we don't care. garbage. Hey, you know what this movie can use? Richard Pryor. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's interesting that it's still, after all these years, yeah. it's still part of it, you know? Yeah. Um, and I mean, Sony, they know. They, I mean, even though the. The, Sony knows what baby they have. Yeah. They know good and well what and I mean, they have. Honestly, it's almost like they know they like the they can use this mm-hmm. at any time to get whatever they want from Disney. You know? Yeah. And so it's like, when do you cash in? Yeah. You know? And what do you cash in on? And I mean, honestly, they're making enough from Spider Man stuff that they probably don't need to. Bob Iger. <laughs> They want Bob? Bobby Bob needs I, to make a move. I want Oswald. <laughs> I need Oswald and all the rights. I mean, here's the thing, not to be too mean, yeah. but like all Disney has to do is wait it out. Because, I mean, Disney will be around far longer than any of these other studios. Like, I mean, it's true. It, I'm not even saying it'll be tomorrow or in the next three decades, but I mean, give it 100 years. Is Sony still going to be around in 100 years? I mean, because they can't, they literally can't be, like, sold to someone else. The rights do not go with them. No. So, like, if someone does a merger with Sony, the rights go back to Spider-Man. So, I mean, Sony has to have enough money on their own. (laughs) But they can't buy Sony. They're not going to buy Sony. Like, what what do they get? The the, the Men in Black (laughs) franchise. Honestly, there was talks. There was talks about Sony splitting off their their companies into three distinct companies yeah uh that playstation would be its own uh sony like the the electronics Mm -hmm. side would be its own and then sony pictures would be its own i mean that makes sense i mean if they well because like playstation i want to say playstation was carrying like (laughs) both companies for a long time yeah um and so like I think I think the the Spider Man stuff kind of came into play there because I think if they had done that, it still would have technically counted as yeah as being transferred or something yeah. Um, but it's I mean, stupid. you know, if they did split it off, and I mean, but then see, but here's the thing, right? Like this is the business part, right? If they did split it off, then Disney could buy them because it's just the movie studio, and that would probably be okay. But then they wouldn't have to because the rights would just automatically revert back anyway. This so there's sounds, no reason. <laughs> this sounds as complicated as uh, uh, having an ex-boyfriend or girlfriend trying to figure out whose crap is whose in the end. Like you go halfsies on something <laughs> yeah. and you're like, well, I can't oh. take half a fucking TV. Oh. Yeah. It's, I made the most payments. Well, <laughs> who watched it the most? <laughs> <laughs> 
I was trying to think of that. I'm going to set your crap in the driveway. Well, you could come by and pick it up. I'm trying to think of the Bible story where, like, they're, they're going to cut the baby in half. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, you know, <laughs> like, the two women, like, are claiming, like, uh, uh, that story's really fucked up. Sorry. Yeah, it like, is. Like, yeah, that's why I'm looking at you like, what? Both, both of them have ownership over this child. And I don't know how, but they're both claiming it. And so they take it to the king. And or the favorite or whoever the fuck it was, I don't fucking know. And uh, and they're like, you know, this is with both of we are both like one of us. You need to decide which one of us gets this child. And then uh, the king is like, well, since you both want it, we will cut the child in half, and you can both have it. Mm-hmm. And I guess one of the one of the ladies said like, you're a fair and wise king or some shit. And then the other one said, no, she can have it. I would rather her have it. Then the baby. Then the baby die. Uh, and so the king gave it to her because she was the one that loved it yeah. the most. And I guess it's supposed to be like, if you love something, let it go. Who knows if it's even fucking real, you know? I mean, it's from the Bible. So, I mean, who knows? <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kind. <laughs> I mean, yeah. All right. Moving on, everybody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do you think the Elf of the Shelf? Never mind. <laughs> We'll talk about that on tomorrow's hopefully awesome weekly episode. Okay. Uh, but yeah, anything else you want to say about this Namor? No, they just need to get their crap together. That is true. Moving on. If I have a hard pause like that, you can just go. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, well, no worries. It's hard for me to read you. It's fine. And if there is if there is more to say, then I'll just make okay. fun of you for hitting it too early. Okay. <laughs> Via Culture Crave on Twitter... Uh, who found this in an Empire Magazine article that I did not read. Uh, <laughs> Marva, M-A-A-R-V-A. Mm-hmm. Marva was originally going to yell, fuck the Empire during the Andor finale, but Disney wouldn't allow it. Boo. <laughs> boo. I wish we had a boo button. Because, like, bad move. I'm sorry. Let them say fuck. Who cares? You know, it's 2022. Fuck doesn't mean anything anymore. <laughs> to some children in my mind. The fact that, you know, that a movie's rated R just because someone says a word, but like we can show like people's heads exploding and that's only PG 13. Like, <laughs> I don't know. America, get your fucking priorities straight, you know? I don't know. It sounds like the entertainment business needs to get their priorities no, straight. It's, it's America's entertainment. Oh, business. yes. Yeah. Because in government. France and shit, they don't give a fuck. No. Like, they're like, you can see a, a penis in a PG movie. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> she doesn't know what to do. She's like this whole thing. Are you wanting to our come dog over is here? is not sure what to think of our table? <laughs> uh, but what do you think, Lucy? Do you think? Do you think they should have said fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I don't know. Like, do you think? Aww. I got her. I got her. Do you think? Uh, what, I mean, what do you think? Do you think it was a bad call, or do you think it's it's Star? Wars? I don't know. I, I I I can see it both ways. I'm not really sure where I land. Because, yeah, mm, F the Empire, yeah. Um, I mean, for this show, I feel like that definitely works. Yeah, it's a very serious, I mean, it's dramatic, yes. you know. I don't think uh, a lot of kids are going to enjoy Andor. I don't, uh, yeah. And, of course, I could be wrong. You know? I mean, there's... <laughs> Some kids watch Breaking Bad, you know. I mean, I've got students <laughs> that say they drink coffee, so I don't know. Yeah, but they drink <laughs> the sugar coffee. You know, like, they drink the um, coffee that's not coffee. Oh, I know. Anyway. Um, anyways. Uh, Why don't we get Lou before she accidentally... <laughs> Uh, what are you doing? Because <laughs> she's like right up the soundboard. She's board. cracking me up. You're crazy dog. Why don't you stay right here? So what was, silly. what was you thinking about? Well, like somebody said, you know, I have a kid that's really into Star Wars. And thinking about a kid that's not five years old, but like someone's like nine or ten years old. Yeah. Very into it. And like, and you know sitting there and you're like oh yeah it doesn't have any if you're one of those parents that really truly cares about what your kid hears yeah. and sees and you hear somebody yell that and star wars and you know star wars for not really having that kind of yeah but i mean don't you think that them learning about like fascism is worth <laughs> them yelling out fuck the empire like i mean like if this show is just straight up nazis which it is it is like if it was just that and they said fuck the nazis like would anybody really be upset about no, it? Not like, really. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But I, I get what you're saying. And I mean, I'm playing 
dev- or I guess you're playing devil's advocate, I guess. Yeah. Um, and I'm not trying to argue with you, obviously. Uh, like, I know where you stand is that you don't give a fuck. No. Like, it's fine. No. Like, if it was just about us and our opinions, like, yeah. you know. But as far as it being, like, a Disney thing, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't know. It, I don't know. But, the, but yeah, Disney. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> I saw somebody comment what you had retweeted about yeah. it. And somebody had commented, like, what I said about a, a, their kid watching it. Yeah, yeah. And, and them hearing that word. And then somebody else said, uh, oh, God, now I lost it. Was it about Deadpool? Yeah. This is on a platform that has Logan, Deadpool. Yeah. And uh, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, and the Netflix. Uh, yeah. Daredevil and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And like, why Why would this one word just shatter yeah. this? And I mean... I mean, look, here's the thing, okay? I think that everybody needs to start. Uh, everybody needs to just start understanding. Excuse me. <laughs> that uh, Disney has diversified. And, yeah. like, the Disney name no longer is... Goody, goody. Well, it's no longer, like, cartoons. Yeah. You know? And, I mean, I know that there's a lot of us that still see it that way. The, you know, Disney animation is just what it is. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, they now own the Marvel Universe. They now own Star mm. Wars. They, I mean, they yeah. own a lot of things. And they're obviously, they own Fox. Yeah. So, I mean, they own Alien and Predator. Like, they, you know, yeah. they own that kind of they show. They own that. And so, you know, the Disney branding over it is really just to say, this is a quality product. Yes. We, we care enough about this to make sure it's mm-hmm. good yeah like that's what disney means now yeah um and i know it's just it's hard especially for older generations i mean i would say even our generation you know because we grew up where disney meant the lion king disney oh, meant yeah. aladdin yeah you know um i mean there was a time when disney wouldn't uh Whoops. <laughs> when they would like make studios to be able to release other films yeah the touchstone so the, yeah, yeah touchstone miramax because uh dick tracy is a touchstone film yeah and like, and like now you know there's no reason to do that you know no. um but it, i think it's just it's hard and i i think they don't really know how to do it like they don't know what the best way is because either if they go too far then you know the the family friendly branding of disney Mm-hmm. you know loses that and then they're gonna lose will they lose kids because of it you know yeah. uh does disney world have the same uh you know meaning to it if disney now means r-rated content also uh, and i think it would but that's something they have to consider you know mm-hmm. i mean you get the conservatives you know i mean a lot of them would probably boycott disney either way but like yeah. you know like if that's i mean that's why they don't want to put two ladies kissing in a movie you know that's why they won't let elsa just be fucking gay like she is she is you know (laughs) just let her let her be let her let it go all right yeah let her find the woman of her dreams and i don't know it's just i think that the more the more time goes on the easier all of this is going to get because everybody's going to realize it doesn't matter doesn't matter like the name is the it's like the mcu you know you go to that, you expect Marvel, yeah. you know, and it, it doesn't matter. Marvel used to mean comic books and now Marvel means these, so much it, it more in game. You know, it means the Eternals. You well, know? I mean, even it means to, people fuck now. <laughs> well, even to uh, uh, ki- little kids, it means uh, cartoons yeah. like, like uh, Spotty and his amazing friends. I mean, like, like you know, Wolverine and even in like the, the not R rated Mm-hmm. Well, you know x-men stuff was still running around with giant fucking knobs basically and like sticking them in people's ribs and in their fucking head and shit and like that's worse <laughs> than <laughs> than saying fuck the empire i'll be honest you know what's worse what? having a group of uh students uh, with ages five to seven knowing who michael is uh, and jason yeah. is i'm sorry that disturbed me to <laughs> to yeah. my core or like five nights at freddy's yeah, they or, turned uh, off the hallway lights Friday, and all the kids were like, "This is like Five Nights at Freddy." Oh I'm like, God. "Why are you talking about this?" But yet we can't say fuck fascism, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, 
I get I get why Disney was wanting to protect the Star Wars brand. I understand it. I don't agree with it. But yeah. I understand that. And I mean, let's be honest. Bob Iger wasn't there when they were making this. Chappick was. Chappick was also behind uh, why they didn't want to allow that kiss to be in light year. Yeah. So, I mean, could that have been part of it? Mm. Maybe. I, I don't know if Iger would have allowed it either. Yeah. But, I mean, and I almost wonder if if this had been the Mandalorian, if they would have been able to to get a yes on it. Because, like, you got to think, who's making Andor? Yeah. And, like, obviously, it's one of the best. It is the best Star Wars it is. show, at the very least. It is. Uh, if not just period. Um, so, I mean, now they've kind of proved themselves. Right? Yeah. But, I mean, like, you think of Jon Favreau and uh, Dave Filoni. Mm-hmm. If they wanted to say fuck, like, <laughs> you know, I mean, they'd probably be uh, like, yeah, I mean, we could, I mean, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We just want, listen, we just want Grogu to say, fuck these frogs. <laughs> God. <laughs> so, actually, uh, there's this, the Tales of the Jedi or whatever. Yeah. And uh, one of them has a uh, Yaddle mm-hmm. as in it. You know, oh, the God. other, the, yeah. the Yoda with her. Yeah. Uh, and they talk normal. Like, they don't talk like Yoda does. And so apparently, apparently this has been known. I didn't know this, but apparently Yoda doesn't have to talk that way. Like he just, he chooses to talk in riddles. <laughs> like, because it's, cause it's like a way of like holding up like the, the, the past, like the standards of the past or some shit, like to honor it or some, some fucking shit. I don't know. But yeah. That's not cool. Yeah, no, like just this little <laughs> green Muppet just fucking with everybody. Not because he has to. But wow. because he chooses to. It's just wild. What a fucking crazy Master, thing. Master, why does Yaddle speak normal like us, and yet Master Yoda mm. s- speaks in riddles? <laughs> Curly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it? Well, Frank Oz did Yoda, so yeah, therefore, that was Miss Piggy also. Wait, did Frank Oz really do Piggy? I'm pretty certain he did. That's or, um, I'm wrong. He did Gonzo. Oh, uh, okay. I yeah, can see that. It's Gonzo. I mean, and Piggy. Piggy yeah. sounds very yeah, similar. Yeah, it is. To he did do Miss Piggy. <laughs> yeah. How many times have I brought up Miss Piggy in the past couple of months? Quite a bit. Yeah. Do we need to do we need to scratch that itch there, nah, buddy? I think do I'm we good. need to watch the Muppets? I'd rather watch my hair academia than go back and watch the Muppets. You heard it here first, everybody. We're gonna watch my hair academia. We're they're gonna make it happen. F- they're in Fortnite now. Well, well not, not yet. Not they yet. are about to be. Yeah. We need to make it happen. Well, let's make it happen after this next story. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought I'm sorry my brain went to Oh, we're going to an ad. <laughs> Nah, just the whoops. One, just the one. Whoops. Whoop, there it is. Um so speaking of moving on, legendary entertain or making it happen, I guess. Legendary Entertainment launches worldwide film distribution partnership with Sony Uh-oh. <laughs> after cutting ties with Warner Brothers. Boom, boom, boom. That's right, everybody. They were really fucking pissed about Dune being on HBO Max. <laughs> they were really fucking pissed I mean, about I ca- that. Uh... I, I get it. Strange times, but hey, we benefited from it. That's right. I wouldn't give Dune the time of day, and because it was free, I watched it and fucking loved it. I can't believe I loved Dune for years, my whole life. Anybody, anytime anyone would talk about Dune, You're just I would like, just be like, <sighs> I don't know what this shit is. It sounds like fucking uh, never ending story or some shit. You know, like, uh, oh, they got, like, sandworms, like the trimmers, like with oh, Kevin Bacon. Beetlejuice. They're like, no, it's better. And I was like, ah, nah. Nah, I'm out. Listen, yeah. if I had Kevin Bacon, I'd be there, okay? <laughs> uh, but instead, it's got that fuck from, uh, from Twin Peaks. <laughs> you know what makes me sad? What? What? Now that you mentioned Kevin Bacon makes me think of the Cards of the Galaxy holiday special. I know. Same. And, Same. And that Peter Quill never watched Tremors. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Dude. Aw. He, he also never watched uh, Star of Echoes. No. <laughs> Or <laughs> I never watched the, that. the man. What was it? <laughs> I just said I've never no, watched no, a man. No, the invisible movie. Uh, oh, uh, fuck! What is that movie called? I keep thinking Cyberman. Or no, 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 no. It's uh, oh man, 
man. Am I going to have to look it up? You might have to look it up. Cause that's uh, gonna be I know what you're talking about, though. <laughs> Dang it. While you're looking it up. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't Thanos was in that, too. Josh Brolin. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, the Bacon Eater. <laughs> <laughs> I literally, my thoughts cannot move on. What is it? Hollow Man. Hollow Man. God damn it. <laughs> I knew that. That was the first DVD I ever watched. Wow. It was. It, was, it looked great, Maggie. It looked great. Elizabeth Shoes in it. Hey, how many... Uh, what's its rating on Rotten Tomatoes? <laughs> Let's see. It's got to be like in the 30s. 26%. Oh <laughs> Hollow Man was good, though. Remember on when they Voodoo, that? it's 3.9 out of 5. And on... <laughs> I am DB. It's 5.8 out of 10. I mean, listen, remember when they turned that ape into in being invisible? It's crazy. And then like the muscles started coming out. Hey. Wild. Wild Greg, shit. Greg Grinberg is in it. I'm, out, I'm Holy getting tongue tied. Wait, did, was J.J. Abrams involved? <laughs> is that know. why Greg Grinberg I don't there? know. Let's see. I'm That's trying to see if there's reason. anybody else. That's the only reason Greg Grinberg gets any work. <laughs> Let's be honest. Let's see. I don't know who had the fuck to involved. get on the heroes, but God, Matt, <laughs> Matt Bagman, uh, Flying Man. No, he had no part in it. That's a shame. Uh, so anyway, My stomach just crowds. <laughs> so uh, to that, you know, they're uh, they're starting their partnership with Sony Pictures after cutting ties with Warner Brothers, uh, but the MonsterVerse, so the Godzilla, yes, yes. and by Lucy Dune franchises. Will remain at Warner Brothers. Bless you. Um, what? Yeah. So I guess like any ongoing mm-hmm. things that they had have yeah. to stay with Warner Brothers. I bet it's like in a contract. Yeah, like a co-partnership. Yeah. Because I think Warner Brothers put funding into those mm-hmm. also. Um. But yeah, uh, I don't know how that affects the DC stuff because Legendary also produced a lot of the DC stuff. Yeah, but uh, where they got... Uh, I mean, definitely it stays at Warner Brothers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, just curious well, if they're going to have a hand in producing it still. Oh, I say... That's our dog. The dog barks are on <laughs> our side. Excuse me. Um, I say where that one dude is the co-CEO with James Gunn. Yeah. He ha- produces a lot of stuff. I say his production company may take over Yeah. that realm. I could see that happening. Yeah. I just wonder, like, I mean, they'll definitely, production companies are so weird because, like, you're right, like, the production, like, the producers, Mm -hmm. you know, will have a part in it. Yeah. And, like, they help, you know, with funding and all that shit. But, like, Legendary as a company producing it, Mm -hmm. like, it's almost like they split the bill a little bit. Yeah. Um. Not And it's not always, like, 50-50 by no. any means. But that's why they'll... Sometimes you'll see, like... Like, the director will have a production company. company and yeah. And the, the writer will have one. And the actors. And, yeah. You know, and so, like, that's when you'll see, like, nine things. Yeah. But also to just secure more funding for the film. Yeah. So they can pay for everything. Yeah. Um, And, the, yeah. So... uh, But, you know, you get somebody like James Cameron who could just do it on their own. But, I mean... And, Maybe not Avatar. <laughs> like, maybe not pay for Avatar. Uh, but, you know, I, I don't know what I'm getting on getting on to uh, about. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's just, it's interesting that, I mean, this is a big pickup for Sony. Mm. Yeah, it is. I mean, and this is just distribution. Yeah. So, that means they don't have control over creative, but mm. they get uh, money for putting the movie out like they have to pay for the distribution efforts. yeah yeah uh i don't think that includes advertising i could be wrong on that okay. um but you know just shipping the the film stock i don't mm-hmm. think i don't know how you distribute shit anymore i think you just send a, Air, a airdrop V-Buck code yeah it's airdrop. <laughs> airdrop it's a it's the iCloud. here's your iCloud folder here's your movies for this month all right log into your your drop box <laughs> Yeah, that could work. If you okay, if everybody will go to their Google Drive, <laughs> Google Drive. Oh my God, God. Yeah, we had to take out a loan to buy this much more space on Google Drive. Oh man, I accidentally saved Dune Two as a PNG file. <laughs> oh man, I accidentally sent Dune Two to my grandma. Ah <laughs> uh, fuck! I gotta download the newest update for VLC Media Player. <laughs> Does anybody have the newest version of WinRAR? <laughs> oh my god! 
Oh man, man we're oh, some fucking, those we're, D- DVD. Dude, oh, we're God. some fucking nerds, man. Here we're making oh. win war. <laughs> Oh, DOS. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. It, it'll be interesting to see outside of outside of MonsterVerse, Dune, and DC stuff. What Legendary does. Yeah. Because I, I don't really know. I know they do a lot of stuff like with other countries. Like they help with. Uh, yeah. But I don't know. Like you said, I don't know much more other than that. Yeah. Wasn't that Matt Damon movie a Legendary picture? Yeah, and it made gangbusters in China. Yeah. Well, I mean, it was made for China. China, yeah. yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. And then, remember that one movie we almost watched about the, the wandering Earth? <laughs> Where, like, the Earth was like a spaceship. <laughs> yes. We were so close to watching it. But, yeah, we watched... Moonfall. The moonfall. <laughs> the moon will help us. Yeah, we watched Moonfall. Oh, my well, God. We could watch the Earth be a spaceship. It probably would have been... Uh, it wasn't probably... It definitely would have been better than Moonfall. <laughs> I mean, I have no regrets for watching Moonfall. No, I don't either. It definitely made. What movie did we watch after? Moonfall? I can't remember. Was it? Was it Thor or was it Doctor Strange? <laughs> I can't remember. I don't know, but we we actively did not watch. It might have been Jurassic Park. I think it was Jurassic Park. <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. All right. Uh, yeah. yeah. Anything no. else you'd like to say about no. this uh, legendary? No. All I can say is I think that this move is legendary. Thanks, everybody. Oh, Lord. All right. Moving on. And this concludes the news. Oh, that's right, everybody. Was, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you well, could have led with that. No, no, no. I mean, I, you know, I wanted the one last thing. Usually we use the the ad as a way to transition uh, to the next thing. We don't really have it because we did it earlier. So yeah, now it's let's time. Let's go ahead. Okay, you can do it. It's time to get into the main topic. That's right, everybody. Welcome to the main topic. So, uh, this week, this picture is basically nothing. (laughs) I can... (laughs) No, I mean, it's fine. You don't have to zoom in or nothing. I mean, it's just, like, we can see it, but I don't think they'll be able to tell anything about it. Uh, So, this week, we got some, some interesting ideas go on yeah uh and we didn't really pre-game this so i have no idea how it's gonna go we have kind oh of an boy. idea but <laughs> we're all gonna figure this out together okay uh we didn't have anything new to really review this week mm-hmm. uh which is our main bread and butter <laughs> yeah uh oh i forgot to put it on here we did spend a lot of the past week reacting to trailers yes. uh and they're all on youtube so you can go check those out there's uh <laughs> what was it mario brothers uh, <coughs> the new Transformers trailer, which is fantastic mm-hmm. and really popping off on YouTube. Just like, uh, Indiana Jones five and guardians three. So all four of those are out there. If you want to hear us talk about those. Yeah. Um, but, oh, excuse me. Uh, because we didn't have anything, we decided that since it's December, we'd kind of talked about this. I think last week is when we was talking about spirited. Yeah. I don't think that was last week. I don't remember when it was. Whenever we talked about spirited, uh, we talked about maybe ranking our favorite Christmas movies. Yeah. Uh, and I had an idea to turn it into a, a tournament, like what we did oh for God. Smallville. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and then I was like, you know what? Let's take it easy. It's December. <laughs> we don't need to go to that much trouble. Yeah. Uh, so we actually, uh, we decided to go ahead and do this. Typically, we would do this first part. Sorry. There's a bar <laughs> on our new table yeah. that's right at the feet. And so it's just like trying to yeah yeah anyway just maneuver your feet yeah, foot just trying it. to get it comfy pause for a second all right matt's gonna adjust his feet oh my god that's so much better <laughs> holy bananas oh uh, my gosh uh so anyway, sorry i can actually like hear my knee pop because oh god <laughs> it's been locked in place for like an yeah. hour uh anyway so we decided to rank our favorite christmas films now typically what we would do is we would go through this list off camera, decide on <laughs> which ones we want to talk about. Uh, but we didn't do that because Fortnite had a big event this weekend and we decided to And that. also we'll do it Pokemon on took priority. Yes. I have all the EVs. Which, oh I got God, all the man. EVs now. Listen. And all three starters. Whatever, all three levels of the starters. Whatever is r- running through my body right now, 
I cannot sit down and play Pokemon for 10 minutes without falling asleep. I think it's just the music and the chill vibes. I, I mean, I enjoy the chill vibes, but like I want to battle the water gym at some point. <laughs> and I'm trying to like level up my Pikachu and stuff. And yeah, I'm yeah. just, I can't stay awake. I was working on my, my IVs and my EVs yesterday and that sucked ass. <laughs> anyway, uh, enough talk about that. Let's talk about the actual thing we're going to talk about. Pokemon. So, uh, <laughs> since we, we didn't really come up with a list of our favorite films, the way we're going to start off is, uh, I found this Rotten Tomatoes article, uh, called the hundred best Christmas movies of all time. And I believe this is based on their tomato meter. Uh, so like they just started at like the yeah. lowest, mm-hmm. right. And then I'll, or the, I guess they started at the top, like what it had a hundred percent and then work their way down until they had a hundred. Yeah. Uh, so the first few that we're gonna, I'm gonna do it backwards. The first okay. few are gonna be at like fifty percent. Okay. Um. Now the closer we get to the top, keep in mind that they're gonna be a lot of old movies. Yeah. Because the reviews from back then, uh, most of the time are just positive. Yeah. And so Rotten Tomatoes ranks theirs based on uh, if they say you should watch it or not watch oh, it. Oh wow. So like if you watch it. If you if they say to watch it, that's a hundred percent. Yeah. If they say to to not watch it, that's zero percent. Yeah. And then it, you know all those factor in, right? Yeah. So like if IGN gives something a nine, that would be considered a watch, watch it. it. Yeah. Not uh and and like it so it wouldn't be a ninety percent on Rotten Tomatoes. It would be a hundred percent. Yeah. On Rotten Tomatoes. Does gotcha. that make sense? No, no, no. Very I got confusing. you. I got you. Uh, so we're gonna go through these and we're gonna just kind of flag the ones that we think will make our list. Uh, and then we're going to whittle it down from there. Yeah. I'm already so. like rotten down stuff. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> so some of these I've not seen. Uh, and I'd say the early ones, I'm definitely not going to be on the list, but we'll, we'll get started here. So uh, at number 100, a Christmas Prince, the Royal wedding from 2018. <laughs> That's on Netflix. A year after Amber helped There's Richard a whole... secure the crown, the two are set to tie the knot in a royal and that cuts off. Yeah, there's a whole trilogy of those. Jesus. I don't even know what these are. Yeah. I'm pretty certain it's on Netflix. Number 99, The Holiday from 2006. Uh, so sad. It's got a 50% but an 80% uh, audience score. Mm. I liked The Holiday. I liked it too. The one time I watched it. Yeah, I yeah. watched it in theaters. I did too. After a breakup. I and watched, I sat there and boohooed the whole entire time. I watched it while I was in a relationship that should have been a breakup. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's making my list. Uh, the next one, speaking of breakups, The Family Stone at 98. 52%. I'm not a big Family Stone fan. Who's in it? Rachel McAdams? Yeah. Michelle, you know. I had a bunch of people's in it. Luke Wilson. Yeah. Diane Keaton. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's, I don't know. I went watching it, or I went to watch it because I loved Rachel McAdams. Still love Rachel McAdams, uh, but I don't know. I didn't know. I just wasn't. I don't know. That movie popped into my head the other day. It's just there's a lot going on. Yeah, well, that's I, a big, big, big family. Yeah, and like he was wanting the the ring. Yeah, to propose to this one girl, but yeah, but the mom was dying of cancer. Or yeah, some shit. I don't know. There was it was a lot. It was too yeah. much. Uh, number 97, The Princess Switch 3, Romancing the Star. <laughs> I have no idea. What this Don't know is. it. Move on. <laughs> uh, at number 96, Falling for Christmas from 2022. Uh, Lindsay Lohan. It's the Lindsay Lohan Christmas movie that just hit Netflix. Oh. Uh, yeah, it actually is in the top 100 right now. You believe that shit? Good job, Lindsay. Maybe we should watch that. Good job, Lindsay. Honestly, I'm going to write that down. We might. Falling for Christmas. It. Falling. I don't know, but... I think I may be falling for Christmas, baby, wait and see. All right. Uh, <laughs> number 95, Last Holiday with uh, Queen oh, Latifah. yeah. I, I liked it. I didn't get to watch it. It was one of those where it's like, it's a great idea. Uh, it's a, it's basically that song, uh, Live Like You Were Done. Yeah. It's basically that It's song. bucket list, basically, in a way. Yeah, she finds out she's gonna die. Yeah, uh, she has an MRI or whatever, and then she goes and uh, goes on holiday, spends all this money and shit, uh, and then it turns out the MRI machine was broken, and it was saying everybody was dying because they had a tumor in the same spot. 
because uh, they like, oh didn't God. clean the machine. Yeah, but like, because you're watching it and like, you don't know that. Yeah, and like, so you think she's dying, but then like she starts falling in love for the first time and like making friends and shit, and like you're kind of like this sucks. Like it's great, but like she's gonna fucking die, and then it turns out she doesn't die. Like I don't know. It it was good, but it was also like. It, yeah. it kind of well it just kind of fucked it up a little yeah. you know um but i mean it's fine it's a fine movie uh spoilers alerts for <laughs> last holiday uh number 94 noel starring anna kendrick and bill Hader. we were mixed on that one yeah it was yeah it was yeah. one it was one of those disney <laughs> disney plus movies you know i think disney plus movies have a have a category now yeah. Or like you just know like they're not even Disney Channel original movies. Yeah, like they're better than that. Yeah, but like they're no, not great. That was nah. I wouldn't go back to it. It was like the old Disney Channel original movies, like yeah, you, like you lucky dog. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. yeah. Or yeah, Brink, <laughs> even though Brink kicks ass. <laughs> we need to do a podcast just about ranking the Disney Channel original movies. Oh my god, uh, that'd be so good. Oh my god, that'd be so painful, Matt. <laughs> Dude, I'm talking about Xenon, Z2, the sequel, Z3. I would roll my <laughs> eyes the whole entire time. Don't look under the bed, Smart House. You know what would not be on there? My Date with the President's Daughter, because no. it's not a Disney Channel original Nope, movie. it's not. Fucking assholes. <laughs> okay. Uh, number 93, The Princess Switch switched again. What are these fucking Princess Switch movies? Bunch of these the oh, okay. Netflix so movies. The, so it's gotten worse. Oh God! Because the Princess Switch three was ranked ninety seven, and the Princess Switch two was ranked ninety three. So, like, they're the thing that's so the they got of, worse. That's the end of the oh, Princess God. Switch trilogy right there. Uh, number ninety two, the Santa Claus two. <laughs> the second one made it on there. <laughs> I feel like it should have been lower. Honestly, <laughs> do you think? Let's take a bet right now. Do you think the Santa Claus three? Is I is. will laugh so hard if it is. Surely it's not. Surely to God it's I mean, not. It does that have one's Martin rough. Short. It has Martin Short. It is true. Uh, but that's not saying a lot. <laughs> Did you say I'm crispy and delicious? I'm sorry. Excuse me. <laughs> Did you say I'm crispy and delicious? He does not say that at that's all. That's all he says. But I've convinced but that's myself. How, that's how Matt removes how it. Remember it. For a decade. <laughs> <laughs> uh, number 91. I bet you'll put this one down. Maybe. I don't know. The Polar Express. No, I am not putting that down. I have, you liked that weird fucking movie. I did at some point. Yeah. But, like... The Dead Eyes, man. I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's... I think where I've had to watch it... Well, not necessarily watch it, but listen to it at school so much year yes. after year because yeah. one of my coworkers stressed that we had to do a pajama party with this movie. <sighs> and awful. my other coworker and I were in agreement that we're done with... The Polar Express. Good. The Polar Express. Because last sucks. year we did uh, the cartoon of not the old one, but the new movie of the, the Grinch. Grinch. Stole Chris. The kids loved it, and it was good. I actually sat down and watched. It. I was like, "This is so much better than the freaking Polar Express." Yeah, yeah, God, yeah. I mean, I, and the I kids can actually of, watched it. The Polar Express like uh, peace out after was, like ten I'd minutes. Rather, I'd rather watch the old claymation specials than watch the goddamn yeah. Polar Express. Yeah, because at least those are quaint you yeah. know what i mean yeah, yeah. i know what you like, mean polar express is just i don't know man what the fuck happened to robert zemeckis you know <laughs> what the fuck happened man he got obsessed he made, <laughs> he made back to the future yeah and then he made i mean not in order but he made uh who framed roger Rabbit. Mm-hmm. he made force gump yeah he made fucking contact yeah cast away yeah and then just downhill from there <laughs> he got obsessed with the cgi he stuff did. he's <laughs> like i'm gonna make fucking beowulf <laughs> Oh, that I remember dad buying that on DVD. That's because uh, Angelina Jolie was naked in it, but it's still a cartoon. <laughs> just l- listen, man. You can see Angelina Jolie naked in CG or just look up some hentai, bro. All right. Get you some squid billies going on. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, Moving no, on. Number 90, speaking of squid billies, love hard. <laughs> just I say that because it's, uh, it's the word hard, isn't it? Uh,. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, an LA girl unlucky in love falls for an East Coast guy on a dating app. Wow. And decides to surprise him, I guess, for Christmas. Uh, came out in 2021. 57% on Rotten Tomatoes, but audience score is 91%. What? I'm going to write this down. 
We might. I mean, I don't think we'll watch this. Oh but. God, we're gonna watch some weird movie. We're gonna watch what? the Princess Switch, <laughs> the entire trilogy. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> just to see if it does get worse. Yes. Uh, number eighty nine, Doctor Seuss's The Grinch. So that's a twenty eighteen animated one. Oh okay, it is good. It is good. It is Honestly, cute. it's uh, cute. Critics had it fifty nine. Audience was fifty one. Oddly. Yeah, I heard m- mixed things from people, but I, I enjoy Illuminations animation yeah. and the way they do their music. And I just I liked it a lot better than the the fucking Jim Carrey, Jim Carrey one. I can't. I don't understand the obsession with people with that. I mean, I remember when I when it came out and I was a kid and I was like, yeah. oh, this is awesome, yeah. you know. And I remember drawing like the the poster with his hand holding the yeah. ornament. But like the older I got, and I was like, "No, this is this is weird." Same thing happened to me with Batman and Robin. All right. I was like, "This is the greatest movie ever. <laughs> it's perfect." And then like two years later, I'm like, "Oh wait." Oh God, what was I thinking? <laughs> I think the same people that are like in love with Shrek are the same people that are in love with the Jim Carrey Grinch movie. I think Probably. it's just a meme. Maybe it's the green. It. The green. Ah, uh, I think we're on something. Yeah. Uh, are you putting Grinch on yours? Oh yeah, I should. You don't have to. No, no, I should. I I've really not, like I've not it. wrote any down on mine yet. Uh, number 88, A California Christmas. <laughs> from, Dude. From 2020. Lots of recent ones. Uh, with his career lifestyle on the line, a wealthy charmer poses as a ranch hand to get a hardworking farmer. That's it. <laughs> wow. I mean, like, it, I can click no, more no, 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 to no, see don't, more, but don't. I've... I, I'm Don't not going it, to. But like, wow. <laughs> uh, this one is actually fresh. So anything 60% or higher is considered fresh. Yeah. This is the first fresh movie we have on here wow. at 60%. Wow. Uh, audience score 54. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so next one, number 87, Miracle on 34th Street, the 1994 film. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm, do I want to put this on there? I mean, I love the dude yeah. from Jurassic Park yeah. Santa Claus. He's pretty great. Yeah. But we did try and watch it last year. And I think I turned it off. I yeah. was like, it's it's fine. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It <laughs> what, I hear clock? a clock. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, mean, it's pretty predictable, you know. Yeah, I mean that's the whole that's the thing, you know. Yeah. I mean it's it's good. I don't know I don't think it would make my top ten list. Yeah. So I mean I'm not worried about putting it on there. Yeah. Uh number eighty six. I've only seen this once, but I remembered I really liked it. The preacher's wife. Oh, right? man. Right? I'm going to yeah. put that one down. I'm putting that one down. That one was really good. Was really I have not good. watched it since Denzel it Washington, came out. Denzel Washington, Whitney 1996, Houston. 1996, man. It's been almost 20 years since I've watched this movie, but it stuck with me. The Preacher's Wife. Who knows if it's actually good? I think it's a, it's a I want to say it was like a Touchstone film. Probably. I wonder if it's on Disney. I don't know. Or maybe even Hulu. Uh, number 85, Dolly Parton's Christmas on the Square. Oh, that's the one on Netflix, isn't it? Or uh, Hallmark? It is. It is Netflix. Cause yeah. It's got the little, the little yeah. on it. Uh, Dolly Parton's uh, a woman who plans to sell a small town without regard for the people who live there receives a visit. That's it. From Dolly Parton herself. <laughs> Debbie Allen directed it. Hmm. It's not that lady. I don't, know. I don't know either. I Maybe don't know who you talk about. <laughs> Maybe thinking of somebody else. Um, is, are you, we haven't watched that. No, we haven't. I'm surprised. We need to watch that new one she did that has Jimmy Fallon on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, number 84, and I think this one's going to be an interesting conversation. Love Actually from 2003. I, was, I saw a whole entire <clears throat> Twitter thread on this movie, man. You know? Looking back on it, there's a lot of bad things in it. A lot of bad things. And like... It sucks because I re- I didn't watch it for the longest time, and then I finally checked it out at some yeah. point. I don't know, well, maybe, but within the last ten years, yeah. Um, and I I really enjoyed it, yeah. And but then yeah, the more you break it down, the more it just is not. <laughs> the more good. you really think about it, yeah. I mean, not even the fact that Watson is like showing his ass the whole movie. <laughs> <laughs> not even that. That part's fine. Yeah, that's uh, yeah. <laughs> but like. The fact that uh, um, the dude, <laughs> what's his name from uh, from <laughs> The Walking Dead? Uh, oh yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, that that's weird. Yeah. That was awful. Hey, isn't isn't the 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 lady? That's Kira Knightley, right? Yeah. Isn't her husband? Isn't that the guy that played uh, 
in uh, uh, Doctor Strange, or is it not? Maybe it's not. I don't think it is. Okay, maybe it's I don't. Not. I don't think so. Uh, and also, uh, the the like one thing that that Twitter thread that they pointed out was like, here's Liam Neeson the day after his wife's funeral, trying to deal with the fact that he has to take care of his stepson, and uh, Emma Thompson tells him to stop crying. Nobody wants uh wants to screw a sissy. I mean, like it is British. Well, yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But like yeah. it's a little bit harsh, you know. Do you remember the red red nose day special they did? Yeah. And like dude went back to Kieran Notley yeah. and like had his wife and shit there. Like nah, they no, were trying no, to no, salvage no, it. No, but no, no. I did like uh what's his name? Dancing. I thought that was funny. Hugh, Hugh Grant. Yeah. Yeah. Thought that was funny. Yeah, but a lot of people said that even his yeah. thing with her was weird. Well, like how everybody calls her fat. Yeah, they're like, like that she is a normal looking person. Why yeah. are you all fat shaming her? Yeah. Yeah, a lot of issues Unfortunately, there. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. It did not stand the test of time. Nobody uh, and nobody brought up the fact about the the musician. <laughs> I feel it in my fingers. Oh uh, yeah, I mean yeah. that. I that, love that. I love that Honestly, story. I think we could like edit out the bad stories and still yeah. have like a decent twenty decent minute movie. Yeah. You yeah. know, a twenty minute movie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you got Watson's ass, and you got him singing about shit. Like that's the whole movie. That's all you need. That's all we need. Uh, number eighty three, The Christmas Chronicles two. Oh, Which that's the one not, with Goldie Hawn. Yeah, we've not watched it. No, Christopher Columbus. Directed yeah, it? he did both of them. They're on Netflix. What the hell happened to Christopher Columbus? Uh, number 82, Silent Night 2021. From producer Matthew Vaughn. Oh, God. Uh, Trudy Styler and Celine Ratray. <laughs> Silent Night follows parents. That's a, I think it's a horror movie. Oh. Has Kira Notley, of all people. Kira Notley's on it. I'm going to investigate uh, that. Yeah. It's... I don't know. Matthew Vaughn, he did the Kingsman movies yeah. and Kick-Ass. Uh, he also did X-Men First Class. I don't okay. like his stuff. Uh, I'm going to keep going because you're not going to put any of these on here. Uh, <laughs> number 81, Krampus. Oh, God. Still no. haven't watched Krampus. Uh, number 80, The Noel Diary from 2022. Uh, starring Justin Hartley. What? <laughs> <laughs> when best-selling Arthur, uh, Arthur, when best-selling author Jake Turner, Justin Hartley returns home at Christmas to sell his estranged mother's estate, he discovers a that's it <laughs> at a seventy-seven. Now nah, this has to be a mistake because it's it's between Krampus, which is at sixty-six, and the next one, which is at sixty-seven. Yeah, and this one says seventy-seven. So I think mm. it's I think it's supposed to be sixty-seven. Yeah. Uh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it just came out. It says no no consensus yet on critics' opinions. So I think it literally just dropped. It's on Netflix. I'll write it down. I like Justin Harley. The Noel Diary. There we go. But we've never we haven't watched the thing that he's most famous for now. The uh, This Is Us. Oh God! Didn't that that ended right? I believe so. Maybe not. God, we watch it. man. Maybe not. We should watch it. Uh, number 79, bringing up the ass, the princess <laughs> switch. Yeah. <laughs> the first one. So yeah, it, it barely cracked the, <laughs> the top 80. <laughs> uh, there were 78. Oh, jeez, I hate this fucking title. The not before Christmas spelled with a K. The not before Christmas. Oh man. Starring Vanessa Hudgens. <gasps> I remember this. A medieval knight is transported to present yes. day where he falls for a high school science teacher. <laughs> I never watched it, but I remember the trailer for it. And I'm like, what the heck? Oh my God. That's oh so weird. Lord. What was the movie? Wasn't she in one where she was like going to die and like Paul Feig directed it? I don't know. I don't know. It, it might <laughs> so, be on the list. <laughs> like, I feel like she like swept, like swept, slipped or something. <laughs> and like she's outside of a store i don't know I, it might not have even been vanessa hudgens nah. but it was it was a paul feig movie okay god why are what are these uh number 77 single all the way mm. desperate to avoid his family's judgment about his perpetual single status peter convinces his best friend nick that's it 
to be <laughs> his boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey. I mean, hey, go for it. I think this is the movie I was thinking of. <laughs> I'm going to. Number 76, Godmothered. Godmothered. Starring <laughs> uh, Isla Fisher and some other people. Uh, set at Christmas time, Godmothered is a comedy about Eleanor, a young and in, in, inexperienced fairy godmother in training, who upon hearing something, I don't think that's the same one. <laughs> it was a Disney movie on Disney Plus. That's what it is. Hmm. Why? How is this not higher? This is bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. This should have been what? the top twenty what? easily. Number seventy-five, Home Alone. Oh, what? Yeah. What? Yeah, I know. I agree classic i swear if two is higher no way no if way. two is higher there's that's no messed up there's no way two is higher there's no way there's no way um i had a 66 from critics and an 80 percent from uh, uh audience yeah <sighs> critics were pretty hard on it back in the day yeah but you know i mean it's obviously it's in their fucking face uh, a very murray christmas a very Murray Christmas, uh, starring George Clooney, Rashida Jones, Molly Cyrus, Bill Murray, uh, directed by Sofia Coppola. This is that Netflix special. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we watched some of it. I don't know. I can't remember. It's 2015. I feel like that. Maybe it was. Maybe it was 2015. Mm. I feel like it was later than that. Uh, number 73. This one's going on mine. A very Harold and Kumar Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the here's the deal. Uh, this movie is actually funny. Now it's still Harold and Kumar, um, so there's that aspect of it. I never watched the second one, um, but this one is the the third one, obviously, and it was shot in 3D, which is really <laughs> stupid. Okay, like they have this character. I think it's a uh, one of Harold's friends. Yeah, he, he buys a new 3D TV. And like Harold's like, well, why'd you why'd you get those? He's like, because I can see everything like it's in real life, and like he does it like to the to the audience, right? Oh my god! And Harold's like, that sounds fucking stupid. <laughs> uh, and so like, there's, I mean, they made some use of it. It's dumb, uh, but one of the parts in a see, I don't know. Do you know anything about Harold and Kumar? Uh, not much other than they want to go to white castle well, that was the only the first movie yeah uh which is a good movie i mean it's again it's very r-rated and i have no idea if it stands the test so i'm probably not doesn't. and honestly this one probably doesn't either uh but uh <laughs> so um in in harold and kumar of course you i'm sure you know this no patrick harris is in it. yeah he plays no patrick harris yeah but he's and, a butthole well he and he wants drugs like he's a drug addicted sex addict right yeah uh, and so like he steals their car and, uh, like they see him driving away with like topless women and shit, like <laughs> standing out of him. He's like, yeah. And he's like doing Coke and shit. Right. Uh, basically Barney, but with drugs to okay? the extreme, like seriously, when they wrote the Barney character, it was based off of his character <laughs> in Harold and Kumar, uh, except obviously. Yeah. With that, yeah. Um, and so in this one, he returns He's in the movie again. I think he's in the second one too, but yeah. I didn't watch it. Uh, and he's only in this one for like five minutes and it's all at the same time. So like they're, they're trying to find either a gift or something. I don't know. A, a magic doobie. I have no idea. Okay. But they're, <laughs> for some reason they're going around the city. I get this movie and uh, uh, the night before a little bit mixed yeah. up in my head. So I could have some of the plot points wrong. But anyway, they wind up at a Broadway show by Neil Patrick Harris. So like, They've had to, <laughs> they've had to like retcon who Neil Patrick Harris was in the first one. Yeah. To who, like the fact that he's famous now. Yeah. Like they they had to like actually like play to that, and so the way that they worked it in was basically he pretends to be gay so that he can have sex with more women. <laughs> Uh, it's stupid it's really stupid and so he uh he's he like is getting a, a lady to give him a massage right and uh and she's like oh i love you you're so great and he's like he's being overly 
uh, feminine, right? Yeah. Uh, because it's supposed to be his character is playing it up. Yeah. Like he's, you know. Uh, and so then he's like, oh, me too, girlfriend. And he's like, uh, hey, how about I give you a massage? And so he's like, oh, this is terrible. I shouldn't no, even say this. No, don't. Well, like, he says, I'm just going to put some, uh, some hot lotion on you real quick. And he starts... Oh. Yeah, I don't think he actually does, but yeah. And she's like, she hops up and she's like, "I thought you were gay." Like he doesn't do yeah. that. And she's like, "I thought you were, I thought you were gay." He's like, "I am gay, gay for that pussy." <laughs> it's stupid. Oh. I'm taking this off the list. <laughs> Boo. Boo. I'm literally, I'm, me talking about it made me take this off the list. And this is higher than Home Alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah don't watch it now that i've talked through that whole scene it's not good uh all right number 72 the christmas chronicles the first one mm. we need to watch it <laughs> <laughs> well we started it yeah and then we, well because we were like i don't know putting up the tree or something yeah we were just decorating and, and then then we couldn't like, really pay focus. attention yeah yeah and so we just didn't go back. we never revisited it uh number 71 scrooged i have it down you already have scrooge down yeah nice had you seen scrooge before we got married yes okay i can i'm pretty i'm pretty certain couldn't remember if that was one of the ones i introduced you to the fact that all of these movies are above home alone is insane to me (laughs) uh number 70 already spirited what it has a 70 percent on rotten tomatoes 81 percent score which i mean i'm obviously i'm putting that on uh that's number one on mine like uh, in your entire list, <laughs> yes. like it's number the one top listed, or like you're saying it's the number one Christmas movie of all time. It's, a, it's number one for Maggie. Oh God! All right, number sixty nine. How how, <laughs> how perfect the night before. Wow, <laughs> starring wow. Jessica Gordon Levitt, Seth Rogen, and mm-hmm. Anthony Mackie. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. About I, lo- it. I it's really good. like this movie, like, yeah. but it's another one of those like. I think I, I'm going to put it down and I may take it off. Uh, like it may not end up making it, but out of like the raunchy Christmas <laughs> movies, I prefer this one the most. Yeah. Like office Christmas party, uh, <laughs> bad Santa, like all that. I never shit. watched bad Santa. Um, number 68, National Lampoon's Christmas vacation. What? A little surprised. I am shocked. That shocked. It's, that it's that. Low. Yes. It has a 70%, 86% uh, score. What Lifetime Hallmark movies at the top? I want to know. <laughs> Number 67, The Best Man Holiday. Mm-hmm. Starring uh, Morris Chestnut, Tay Diggs, <laughs> Regina Hall, Terrence Howard. Hmm. Nearly 15 years after they were last together as a group, college friends Lance, Harper, Caden, Candace. Candace? Yeah, can. That's it. Okay. I bet it's about a wedding. The best man. Uh, what was that one wedding that didn't have Josh Gad? And it was like a found footage film, but it was about. It was about like. Maybe, I may be getting two, <laughs> two movies mixed up. Cause <laughs> there was also a movie with like. With Josh Gad and um, Kevin Hart, yeah, yeah, at a wedding, yeah. So I think I'm getting those two mixed up. I think in my you head. are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, number sixty six, Black Christmas from 1974. <laughs> There's a lot there, Maggie. Yeah, I'm trying to stretch out my leg. I don't. Margot Kidder is in this. <sighs> what? <laughs> Do you know who Margot Kidder? Is? It's not Lois Lane. <laughs> <laughs> the Super <laughs> movies. That's crazy. I think they remade that recently. Uh, number 65, A Christmas Prince. Wait, is this the first one in the trilogy? Yes. Oh, I f- can't believe I already forgot <laughs> that those movies are on the list. <laughs> already. I'm not going to count this one because we're also talking about doing another one of these uh, before Christmas for specials. And this one, to me, is a special. Okay. Uh, Frosty the Snowman. No, uh, yeah. I wouldn't say that's a movie. Mm-mm. Oh, it's so, like 30 minutes long. Yeah. Any of those, uh, the fact that those are on here is going to kind of mess this list up. Uh, number 63, A Castle for Christmas. <laughs> to Escape a Scandal, a best selling author, Journeys to Scotland. What's up with Netflix making Christmas author movies? You know, where she falls in love with a castle and a da, 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 man. And the dude's wearing a kilt. A man. 
Oh, man. Uh, number 62, again, not counting this one, though it, it wouldn't make the list anyway. Uh, Lego Star Wars Holiday Special. Uh. That was not great. Number 61, The Little Drummer Boy. Uh. Again, that's a, that's a special. Um, number 60, and now we're getting into the certified fresh. Mm. So these are ones uh, like 78%, I guess, or higher. Wait, no, it's not. Okay, not all of them have this logo, so I have no idea <laughs> if it's different. Uh. Um, but number 60, A Christmas Story, Christmas, the new one. <laughs> oh, it's the new one. It's the sequel. Really? That's, is it good? I don't know. I mean, I don't like the first one, so I don't think I'm going to watch this one. I've either. heard mixed things about it, but yeah, I always enjoyed A Christmas Story growing uh, up. I mean, I missed it. Like, I missed it. I didn't watch it until I was already, like, in my late 20s. Yeah, I think that's probably why you don't enjoy it. Yeah. I, I watched like, it I'll as a watch, kid. I like, I'll just watch The Wonder Years. Yeah. Or Sandlot. Both better. <laughs> Both are better than A Christmas Story. I'm sorry. You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> God, what a great goddamn movie. Can we put The Sandlot on here? I know it's, it's not, not a Christmas, Christmas movie, movie Matt. I feel like it should still be on here. Uh, number 59, Get Santa. Uh, mm-hmm. After crashing his sleigh, Santa Claus asks a father and son for help to <laughs> War- Warwick Davis is in this. Okay. Uh, from what's it called? The w- the Willow. Oh, yeah. He played gotcha. uh, the one Ewok. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I know, I know that talking. Ewok's I know, name. I know who you're talking about. I, I knew that Ewok's fucking name. No, I can't. Wicket? No. Who's Wicket? Anyway, I, okay. Lots, lots of thoughts going on in my head. Uh, Let It Snow, twenty nineteen. I think this is that Netflix movie. Uh, a snow tor- a, a snowstorm brings a group of young people together. Yeah, we watched that, didn't we? Hmm. I think I liked it. Yeah. Yeah, because like that famous guy. Yeah. Or a famous guy shows up in the town. Yeah. It's all right. Yeah. I mean, it was one of the better Netflix movies mm-hmm. that we've watched, and we haven't watched many. It wasn't as good as Always Be My Maybe. I think that's the best. Yeah. You know, but it's hard to beat him. I mean, he's awesome. Mm-hmm. I can't think of his name right now. Uh, number 56, A Christmas Horror Story uh, from 2015. Nah. Number 55, A Boy Called Christmas. <laughs> fuck an ordinary young boy called nicholas sets out on an extraordinary adventure into the snowy north in search of his i don't know boy a boy called christmas offers a few surprises but makes up for its lack of originality with a heaping helping of winsome holiday spirit wow so what a review so what do you think he's santa his name is nicholas santa claus i mean he's gotta be he's gotta be santa right must be santa must be Santa. Santa. What, is, what is that? Santa Claus. I don't know. I don't like this. What are you doing? <laughs> what is that? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's a song that forever ago that ki- the uh, grade level used to perform at Wait, Christmas programs. Are we going to talk about Christmas programs? Because I, I got this whole thing about oh God, Jesus, no. Christmas. No, no. Let's keep. What a merry soul was merry soul was he. Peace uh, out, everybody. Good never, luck with this. Never, I'm going to go back to sleep. <laughs> Number 54, 8-Bit Christmas from last year, 2021, uh, with no Patrick Harris. We're oh, just trying yeah. To get yeah. It's, 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 not, it's good. Isn't it bad that I've already forgotten it? I mean, honestly, it just, I feel like it was this close and it just missed the mark, you know? Mm. Something about the stuff in it. I don't know. There was something in it that I was, uh, I think it was his dad was kind of an asshole. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I don't know. It was, it was mm. all right. Is all right. Um, number fifty three, the bishop's wife. Is, wait, was the preacher's wife? Bullet, Re- did yeah. they remake this? I don't know. Dejected by his efforts to raise money to build a cathedral, Bishop Henry beseeches heaven for guidance. Yeah, because he was trying to build a church. I had no idea that was a remake. I didn't either. Wow. Uh, number fifty two, a Charlie Brown Christmas. Going in the specials. Yeah, it definitely would be on my list, but it's going in the specials. Uh, number fifty one. A Christmas Carol from 1951. Mm. Uh, the 1951 adaptation of Charles Dickens' yeah. Thomas Classic. I don't even know who's in this. I'm not going to put it on there. Number 50, The Retaliators. <laughs> <laughs> in The Retaliators, an upstanding pastor uncovers a dark and twisted underworld as he searches for answers surrounding his daughter's... 
You like how I just stop? But like I don't even <laughs> I don't even try. There's, a, there's like been a few times it's like I could get really bad with this. <laughs> uh, it was probably death if I had to guess. Uh, number forty nine. Now we're in the eighty nine percent. Okay. Okay. So we're getting ready to hit ninety percent. All right. Which means it'll probably be a lot of old stuff. Uh, number forty nine. Christmas in Connecticut, nineteen forty five. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, number 48, The Year Without a Santa Claus. Sideline oh, by that's, Nasty that's Cold. That's a special. And, oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a special. Number 2013. Or sorry, number 47, <laughs> White Reindeer. No. Oh. When are they going to bring out Black Reindeer? Okay? Fuck. All right. <laughs> number 46. I mean, I could have at least used I'm one sorry. of those. Thanks, Maggie. Uh, okay. <laughs> Number 46, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Number 45, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Special, special. Number 44, Alien Xmas. When a race of kleptomaniac aliens attempts to steal Earth's gravity in order to more easily take everything. I think it's a special. Uh, number 43, I'm going to let you decide on this. Mm-hmm. Mickey's Christmas Carol. Oh. Movie or special? Now, I know it's short. Yeah. But I think I would qualify it as a movie. I do too, because I don't know, just the way it's drawn. Yeah. And how the story's told. Yeah. I agree. Oh, I would agree. Yeah. Mickey. Yeah, I need to write that one. I actually really like that one. I do too. God, we already got three versions of a Christmas Carol on here. Uh. Should we, maybe we should just change this this list to be the top 10 Christmas, Christmas Carol carols. adaptations. <laughs> All right. Uh, number 42, Emmett Otter's Jug Band Christmas. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Oh, it's got uh, Frank Oz, directed by Jim Henson. Emmett and Ma Otter are very poor, but they are very <gasps> happy. Oh, that's a special. Uh, okay. That's a special. <laughs> I was like, how dare I this? Number 41, Remember the Knot, 1940. Yeah. Uh, number 40, March of the Wooden Soldiers, 1934. Number 39, Holiday Inn, 1942. <laughs> Wait, is that? It's got Bing Crosby. Is that on your list? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, number 38, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. Number thir- Wait, wait, what? which one was that the, one? 1967. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 No, that one's good. That one's good. Yeah, but that's a special. Yeah, that's a special. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's made for TV. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Whereas a, uh, Mickey's Christmas Carol, yeah. even though it may have premiered on TV, it TV. definitely didn't have the budget of a TV uh, special. No. It's probably more like Prince and the Popper. Yeah. Number 37. Gotta make the list. The Santa Claus. All right, go ahead, down. I'm starting to think that Jingle All the Way is not going to be on this list. <laughs> it has not been said yet. And it cracks me. And also, all these movie posters on here. Like, none of them are on Like, it. B- like 10% has made this <laughs> list. And it cracks me up. Well, I tried to find it more like other lists, but they, I don't know, they were like very opinion based. Yeah. And I just thought that this one would, would be the most, like, you know, it's just yeah. based off of the, the yeah. reviews, you know. Number 36, The Ref, 1994. Starring Dennis Leary. Wow. Kevin Spacey. Ugh. Ugh. All right. Yeah. No, let's move on. Yeah. Number 35, Merry Christmas from 2005. Uh, with the advent of World War I, Europe is thrown into a brutal and vicious chaos. <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. It's not funny. It's just... There's just not what I was expecting. A movie called no. Merry Christmas to, to say. <laughs> oh my god. Oh fuck. Uh hey, wasn't that uh that one movie, 1917, wasn't that based in Christmas? I Maybe think it was. It probably was. Yeah. Yeah, because don't they give gifts to each other? Yeah. Yeah. And anyway, I don't remember. Uh number thirty four, Happy Christmas. Starring Anna Kendrick and uh, I think the no, it's not the mom. I thought it was the mom from uh, uh, Gilmore Girls, but it's not. Oh, uh, an immature party girl, Anna Kendrick, moves in with her brother's family to get over a breakup and throws their life into chaos. Probably 
throws their plans off. Number 33, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Aw, yeah. Number four, Christmas Carol. (laughs) I gotta say, uh, The Muppet Christmas Carol. Yeah. For sure. Blew us away last year. Yeah. I mean, we watched it. I mean, I had seen it when I was a kid, but I never really went back to it. And I just, I couldn't believe how good it was. I mean, God. Michael Caine. Those fucking Muppets, man. They never miss. Uh, Number 32, Anna and the Apocalypse. Which we, did we buy that? Yeah. It's like a Christmas yeah. musical. Yeah. But it's about zombies. Need to watch it. Yeah. I need to watch it. Number 31, White Christmas. I want to watch this. Okay. I know it's an old movie. But, yeah, it's okay. Uh, Honey, I just bought uh, 12 Angry Men. Like, I think, <laughs> I think we're fine. Uh, I really want to watch it. Okay. It's a, it's pretty much a classic but i i don't know i, I know that the, there's a lot of the classic christmas songs performed in this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so you've not seen it oh, okay i've been wanting to right on we can, i think i might have tried to one year and i just couldn't get into it i'll write it down i yeah. wrote it on mine it's at the bottom making a list checking it twice. uh number 30 bad santa Never watched it. Me neither. Who the fuck wants to? Oh, man. There's a movie on here that's definitely going on your list. <laughs> and it should not. It shouldn't even be on here. It's not the next one, but the next one after that. Uh, number 29, The Man Who Invented Christmas. <laughs> uh, in 1943, London author Charles Dickens finds himself in financial trouble after writing three unsuccessful novels in a row. Dude, I really hope he's visited by the three spirits. I bet he is. I bet he fucking is. I bet he is. All right, ready? This is going on your list, so get your pen ready. Number 28. I I really disagree that this is on here. Batman Returns. <laughs> no, it's not on my list. <laughs> I'm not putting yeah, it on my really? list, man. No. I thought you love those movies. I do enjoy those movies, but I don't associate that with Christmas. I know that they allowed a Christmas it, tree in that, it and a chick dies Christmas. because, yes. Yeah. Uh, nah, nah, yeah. nah, 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 nah. I agree. It's awful. Uh, number 27, While You Were Sleeping. I've been trying to get us to watch this. Uh, and like by trying, I mean like, oh, we should watch it. And then I forget. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I forget to ever watch yeah, it. Yeah, I'll write it down. All right. Because it, it wow. is really good. But I mean, I'm not going to write it on my list. Or Well, I'm writing it it's, down to watch. Oh, I know, I know. Uh, it's one of those that's like set at Christmas, but I wouldn't qualify it as a Christmas mm-hmm. movie. You know? Yeah. I mean, there's a whole discussion that could be mm-hmm. about that. Excuse me. Number 26, Happiest Season. Uh, this romantic comedy is about longtime lesbian couple, Abby, played by Kristen Stewart, and Harper, played by Mackenzie Davis, who made plans to go... What is it? <laughs> uh, Mary Steenberg version? Mm-hmm. And Victor Garber is in this also. Hmm. Huh. Sounds good. Elf, number 25. Yep. Yeah. Sorry on my list. I'll see. I didn't preload my list. So. <laughs> uh, number 24, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Come on. Didn't really like this. Mm. We, we watched the the good guys. Yeah. I really liked that. Yeah. Uh, and then we was like, maybe fucking, maybe we should watch Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Yeah. And we, and we watched like how I just didn't, mm-hmm. just wasn't, I don't know, just didn't, didn't hit it for us. Number 23, A Christmas Tale from 2008. Uh, yeah, I think this is actually an international film. So that's cool. Uh, number 22, Gremlins. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to put it on my list. No, Again, I'm not either, but that's great. I would be closer to saying this is, this is more of a Christmas movie. Simply because he gets Gizmo as a Christmas gift. Yeah. So, like, I would almost put that, you know, it's yeah. almost a tongue in cheek Christmas movie, right? Uh, number 21, I bet it'll be on yours. Trading Places. No, it's a long one. You're not going to put it on yours? No, I've when only I, watched well, it like on, two times on, in my on, life. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. When I say I bet it's on yours, I don't mean already. Oh. I mean that you're going to put it on there. No, I'm not. I, I, I remember watching it as a kid. Yeah. And, like, it's it's funny, you know. Yeah. It's Dan Aykroyd, Eddie Murphy. Yeah, um, in the heyday. Yeah, but like At both SNL alums. Uh, yeah, <laughs> and Jamie Lee Curtis is in it too. Um, but well. I remember as a kid, like, yeah, I found it funny, but there, like, there's just some point points I just didn't feel 
comfortable, I think, I humor I wise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I so, that. I mean, no disrespect to it. Sure. It's just I've not seen it. Not one of my. I'm favorites. pretty. Sh- I'm pretty sure I've never seen it. Uh, number twenty. Better watch out. Uh, uh, Ashley travels to the suburban home of the learners to babysit their twelve-year-old son Luke at Christmas. She must soon. It's a horror movie. Kill him. <laughs> Kill Lucas. Oh, <laughs> uh, here you go, Maggie. Number nineteen. Jingle jangle. A Christmas journey. <laughs> jingle jangle. Jingle jangle. That's that one uh, that we was like actually thinking about watching <laughs> and then we realized that we would hate it. Yes. Uh, wow, we're already in the top 20. Number 18, Edward Scissorhands. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, towards the end, yeah, but it's not really centered around Christmas. Uh. So this one has special in its name. Yeah. But I don't know if I would say it's a special. I would almost call it a movie. Okay. But, I mean, I guess technically it's a special. Uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special at number 17. Mm. What do you think? Should it be with the specials? Yeah. That's because it, I feel I like mean, it should Even be. at the beginning, it's this special presentation. Yeah. yeah I agree. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, number 16, Rare Exports, A Christmas Tale. <laughs> number 15, A Christmas Story. Is it on your list? I'm not gonna put it out. Yeah. Number fourteen, we. I think I've been. I've been. I know I've been wanting to watch it. We just haven't watched it yet. Tokyo Godfathers. Mm. I've heard one of the best Christmas movies of all time. Okay. Yeah, and that's the uh, by the guy that made uh, Perfect Blue. Oh, well, yeah. I think that explains a lot. And didn't he also do Paprika? Yes, I believe. Uh, number thirteen, Arthur Christmas. <laughs> no. Number 12, The Apartment from 1960. Oh, okay. Well, cool Jack heck. Lemon. Hey. And Fred McMurray. Mm. <laughs> Number 11, Little Women from 1994. Yes. Number 10, It's a Wonderful Life. Oh, yeah. I got yes, that down. It's a wonderful life. Oh, oh. <laughs> Number 9, Carol from 2015. These beloved Bellevet spots. Benelevent? No, it says B E L I V E T. Uh Oh, Teresa Bellevent. So that's her last name. (laughs) Oh, wow. Uh, Yeah, I'm talking about There's there's a lot to Rooney Rooney Mara's in it. What? I I I don't know. Do you want me to read it? No, no. Let's Uh, move it. Spots the beautiful, elegant Carol pursuing the doll displays in a 1950s Manhattan department (laughs) store. See? Like, was that worth it, Maggie? Was that worth it? I told you no. Let's go. Number eight, Die Hard. Here's the thing, everybody. All right? I hate to be this guy. Die Hard is not a Christmas movie. There's right. a lot of people jumping on that train now. I know. Everybody says a Christmas movie. No, no, no. Right? The, no, they're saying what you're saying. Oh, it's not. It's one of those that's set at Christmas. All right. It's not a Christmas movie. Like, I mean, he's at a Christmas party, but like. Woohoo. I mean, it's not It's not an office Christmas party. You know, no, it's just no. set at Christmas. I don't know. No, like Edward, like I was telling you about Edward Scissorhands. Yeah. yeah. Christmas does play a part in it towards the end. But it's not centered around yeah. Christmas. I mean, and I definitely wouldn't say uh, Batman Returns is a Christmas movie. No, you know, or it's Iron not. Man Three. Like, yeah, Iron Man Three takes place at Christmas, but it's not a Christmas movie. Yeah, we we need to come with a come down with like a specific. Yes, this is a Christmas movie. Yeah, we all need to decide. I on agree. That. Uh, number seven, Little Women from twenty nineteen. I loved this movie. I did too. But again, I don't. It's so sad. I don't think it's a Christmas movie though. I wouldn't say it's a Christmas movie. Was it sad? It wasn't sad. No, well, I mean, like, was, I some parts him. of it was sad. Father, I want to know what happens to the little women. <laughs> Number six, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yep, already on it. Nah, I knew it was already on there. Already done. Number five, Claws. <laughs> uh, like, <laughs> That's the one with Mel Gibson, isn't it? No. It is. No, this is from 2019. This is the uh, CG Netflix movie? Uh, starring oh. Jason Schwartzman, J.K. Simmons, Rosita <laughs> Jones, Will what? Sasso. Uh, a desperate postman accidentally brings about the genesis of Santa Claus. <laughs> that sounds terrifying. I actually, I have heard of this. Uh, number four, 
Tangerine, uh, after hearing that her boyfriend pimp cheated on her while she was in jail, a wow. transgender sex worker and her best. That's where it ends. Oh. Interesting. Uh, number three, Miracle on 34th Street, the original, mm-hmm. 1947. Number two, The Shop Around the Corner. Now, this is... Oh, well, it's the what, original. Yeah. What uh, You've Got Mel is based off mm-hmm. of. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And number one, Meet Me in St. Louis. <gasps> that's good. Is that it's the good. one that's... Uh, oh, my God. Is that that one? No. It's it's Judy Garland. That's Hello Dolly. Yeah, it's yeah, Hello Dolly. Dolly. It's Judy Garland, and it's it's about Christmas time. Um, but uh, she sings. Uh, I mean the the Christmas song she's known for. Uh, Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Uh, okay. Oh my God! I remember the first time I watched this movie. Uh, I was like, this is so great. It's it's <laughs> it's such a good movie too. Like uh. And, and I believe it's in black and white, but it's really good. So I'm, I'm just going to scroll through another list here because, I, I, okay, I've got a few in my head that I'm not seeing on here either. Oh. Uh, so I'm just going to start rounding these down. Well, wait, here's one. Uh, Jack Frost, <laughs> uh, Four Christmases. That's a uh, oh yeah uh, Reese Witherspoon yeah it's fun oh just friends that I could see that being a Christmas movie I wouldn't necessarily watch it at Christmas yeah. but uh, da, da, da. Jingle All the Way mm-hmm. um still mixed nuts that's that Adam Sandler movie yeah it is you that yes shit? oh my god um bah, bah, bah. deck the halls. Listen, if I ever have to fucking sit through Deck the Halls or Christmas at life, the Cranks, I swear to God, I will I will throw a brick through <laughs> whatever those TV posters I'm are on fl- here, dude. There it is. I'm not even joking, man. I fucking I there was one Christmas, it's not Christmas on here. Too. For some reason, everybody bought the DVD and that it just played every fucking Christmas that we went to. Prancer, dude. What Prancer, the fuck is Prancer. You never heard of fucking Prancer? No. Whoops, I've never dropped F on. <laughs> Um, and it was for Prancer. It was for Prancer. It was all. Prancer. Prancer is has um Sam Elliott in it. Oh, oh okay. Has Sam Elliott in it, and he has a daughter. And one night they're going home, and they hit a deer. Not just any deer; it's a reindeer. And and this little girl believes it is one of Santa's reindeer, and his name is Prancer. Oh, is it really? <laughs> Does it end up actually being? I believe so. Uh, spoiler alert. Uh, now I don't need to watch it. Uh, but yeah, yeah, deck the halls. Fucking trash. Uh, let's see. Metropolitan. Silent Night. Deadly Night. It happened on Fifth Avenue. Edward Scissorhands. The Santa Claus. Carol. Polar Express. Grinch Stole Christmas. Harold and Kumar. Die Hard. While You Were Sleeping. Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. A lot of these are the same. Gremlins. Uh, Christmas Tale. Black Christmas. Eyes Wide Shut. Really? Oh. I didn't know Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman? I've heard that movie's really weird. I say it is. Elf, The Apartment, <sighs> Nightmare Before Christmas, Christmas Carol, Muppet Christmas Carol, Bad Santa, Miracle on 34th Street, Scrooge, Home Alone, White Christmas, Christmas Story, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Number One, It's More Fall Off. Uh, okay, so I, I'm going to call an audible. I'm throwing a couple extras on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, catch Me If You Can. Yeah. You that's cannot. A good one. You cannot. Tell me that that is not a Christmas movie. It is. Came out on Christmas. And it uh, it revolves around Christmas. It's like yeah. all the different Christmases throughout his life. Yeah. You know? uh, catch me if you can. I would also put, and I think this one shouldn't technically count, but I think, I mean, I think it does. And fuck it, it's our show, so I'm going to say it does. Serendipity. Yeah. Because it opens at Christmas. Mm-hmm. But if you remember, the bulk of the movie actually takes place in the summer. Yeah. And, but then it snows at the end anyway. Mm-hmm. I think it's in October, maybe. Not summertime. But So mm-hmm. it makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, I love that movie. Oh, no, you do. Uh, another one is uh, Two Weeks Notice. But I, I'm not going to put it on the list. Mm-mm. But that was one. I'm yeah. trying to think. Can you think of any other? I'm trying. I'm trying to. I was trying to look at the Blu-rays to see if I... If I had any, um, da, 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 da. 
51 best movies on Netflix. Mm. Oh, these are just going to be Netflix movies. Uh, here's an EW. I'm just trying to see if anybody can give me like some others, you know, that aren't just the same 12 movies. And this one looks like it's the same 12 movies. It's going to be. Yeah. I mean, I, what, what do you think I could search? I've got Christmas movies. Here. I know. I know of one way. We'll see. I could put like 90s. Where is it? Okay. You think uh, the JTT movie should be on here? God, that thing was trash here on fire. Here's a, here's a whole list of 90s Christmas movies. Uh, Home Alone 2. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. All I Want for Christmas. You remember that? Yeah. Or the, the yeah. I got one. What'd you got? Oh, no. It's a show. Never mind. Never mind. I'm going to say this. And I'm going to put it on my list. Okay. To Grandmother's House We Go. Never watched it. You've ne are you fucking kidding me? I'm not kidding you. Oh Maggie. Oh, I Maggie. was not I uh, was one of the few girls that didn't get into the Mary Kate and Ashley. They were craze. this is when they were little. Uh, that had nothing to do with uh, it. I know, but Maggie, they Matt, get kidnapped Matt. by the guy from Coach. <laughs> 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 not Dauber. I think that was his name. <laughs> and not Coach. <laughs> But the, the other guy, I think it was a Van Dyke, I think. I think. Like Joey Van Dyke or something. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's in this? Real quick. I'm looking it up here. It stars. It doesn't say. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Now, it is it is a TV, made for TV movie. I'm still putting it on there. Uh, where's his name? Jerry Van Dyke. Yeah. Jerry okay. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You know what I'm talking about. Um. Is there a synopsis? Yeah. Storyline: Delivery truck driver Eddie Pom Pompko, a dreamy wannabe cowboy, always flirts with convenience store clerk Rhonda Thompson. Think. Uh. Look who's talking. Okay. Okay. Oh, look who's talking. Three. Actually, that's a good. Yeah, it is. Oh, <laughs> the dogs. Right. Oh. <laughs> There's this one time. Oh God. <laughs> I come up with the idea <laughs> to make a sequel, <laughs> but it was set now. And like, <laughs> Danny DeVito, I used to say, <laughs> it's going to be like, yeah, they got me playing a fucking dead dog now because <laughs> the dog's dead. Because it's been like 30 fucking years. So obviously, I don't know. I used to talk about it when I worked at McDonald's. <laughs> oh my God, Matt. <laughs> Oh my god, look who's talking three. Okay. Um Thompson, but like their their relationship in Look Who's Talking. The, yeah. Uh John Travolta and Kirstie Alley. Mm -hmm. It's like that. Okay. okay. Um uh but his enthusiasm dims when he meets her hostile five year old twins, Sarah and Julie. When they hear her wish for a holiday without her handfuls her handfuls, they sneak off to great grandma Mimi's house. Unable to find her or the right bus, they sneak into Eddie's truck. He takes to babysitting during his rounds, uh, but when he delivers them home, he's knocked unconscious by dumb Harvey and mean Shirley. Uh, that's Dick Van Dyke, or not Jerry Van Dyke, sorry, uh, and the lady. Uh, senior robbers, they're both old people, uh, who steal his truck, including the Christmas parcel and the twins who have possessed, uh, who have possession, there's so much going on, I forgot about this, of the lottery tickets he bought, uh, the truck driver, uh, in hopes of winning the $1.3 million, he decides to help Rhonda and police detective Grimp with the search. That's it. And so, like, because they, they're going to steal all the gifts, okay? Yeah. And uh, make money off of it one way or another. And uh, But then they find out, oh, we got these fucking kids. Uh, and so then they, like, try to uh, hold the kids ransom. Um, and then, like... They go, they go to me, like, I, this is the part I was thinking about the other day. Like, uh, the, the mom and dad, or all, yeah. uh, the boyfriend or whatever, uh, they also steal Christmas presents to <laughs> pawn to yeah. pay for them. Yeah. Because they can't find the ticket, the wow. winning lottery ticket. And so, uh, so they're like, we're just, we're just borrowing these gifts. We'll give them back to everybody that they go to. We just have to, we have to give my kids back, right? So yeah. they steal all the mail gifts. Uh, the gifts people are sending in the mail. Uh, and then in order to, to trade the money for the girls, they 
meet in like the middle of a park. Yeah. And then like they sneak in the Mary Kate and Ashley sneak into the back of a of a Santa like sleigh. <laughs> yeah. That has a horse attached to it. Yeah. And like it starts going and they're just like standing there like whoa. <laughs> and then like it it goes around a corner and they're at fucking grandma's house. Yeah. Like grandma's house is right next to this fucking park or something. Yeah. Just randomly. Yeah. Like they don't know that. <laughs> I mean, it's never said. It just so happened that her house where they've been trying to fucking get to. Wow. And, like they run in and they're like, grandma. Yeah. And like, yeah, uh, it's really, I, but then like, I don't know. Jerry Van Dyke is like arrested, but then they're like, Oh, but we love uncle Jerry. Or oh something. my God. Yeah, I don't know. Really? Like, and then they find the ticket and then they spend all day Christmas returning the yeah. gifts. And like the, the girls are dressed like elves or something. And they're like, Merry Christmas. Here's your gift. <laughs> Cause they spend the, the million dollars. Yeah. On that. Yeah. Oh, okay. We can watch it. Sorry. I bored you. No, 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 no. I don't no, want no, to watch it. I'm trying to find other movies. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was listening. I don't want to watch it, Maggie. (laughs) Okay. Well, it sounds like you're trying to convince me. When you tell me the whole plot of a movie. That's what, that's why I told you. Because I don't want to watch it. It sounds like you want to watch it. All right. Moving the fuck on. I thought uh, Snow Day was a Christmas movie. It's not. It is not a Christmas movie. It's a winter movie. You could have just asked. I could have told you that. No. Uh, Babe? No, it's not centered around Christmas. Step, Christmas happens. Stepmom. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. I've only watched it once. Do you remember what happened? Yeah. It she does. Does. Yeah. God, it's Susan, sad. Susan Sarandon. Yeah. Victoria Court herself. <laughs> uh, you've got mail. Now, mm-hmm. there is a lot of Christmas at the beginning, but yeah. then it goes to spring. Yeah. No. Nah. I do love you've got mail, though. I do, too. Uh, here's one we didn't talk about. Go. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, How are they not going to put John the Taylor Thomas's movie on here? Yeah, it's on, it's on freaking Disney plus. It's what I was looking through. I was about to say Hawkeye, <laughs> but it's a show. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, here's pop sugar and there's not even, Oh, you have to start a slideshow. Oh, uh, this is that shit. Tim Gettys uses. I ain't using that. That shit sucks. All right, I think we're I think we're good. I think so too. <laughs> All right, so let's read off our list, Maggie. What do you got on yours? I've got Spirited. I'm gonna mark mine that okay. I know that you have. Okay. Christmas Vacation. See, this is why you shouldn't have done it because then we could go at the same time. Okay. Elf. Got it. Home Alone. Got it. Nightmare Before Christmas. I do not have that. <laughs> Mickey's Christmas Carol. Got it. The Grinch. The Grinch. I didn't put them. No, you didn't. Okay. Scrooged. Got it. The Muppet Christmas Carol. Uh, yep. Santa Claus. Yep. Uh, it's a Wonderful Life. Yes. The Preacher's Wife. Yes. Meet Me in St. Louis. I don't have that one. Prancer. Don't have that. Look who's talking through you. <laughs> <laughs> I do have that one. Now I wrote down these at the bottom to watch. Uh, okay. Well, white, I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, well, you can read. Oh, I'm going to White Christmas mm-hmm. while you were sleeping, mm-hmm. and my brother posted a picture from this movie, and it's been a long time since I've watched it. Robert Downey Jr.'s in it, a bunch of other people. It's called Home for the Holidays. Ho, home for the holidays. Cool. Okay. I like it. Um. I forgot that I was actually going to type in 2000s also hmm. just to run through, just to see if there was any. Uh, it doesn't look like it. Four Christmas, Polar Express, Holiday, Christmas of Cranks, Deck the Halls, Love Actually, Bad Santa. Uh, wait, why isn't it showing like a whole list like it did last time? Ah. Okay. Sorry. Just wanted to make sure there was It's all one. good. There wasn't any other holiday in handcuffs. <laughs> Ghosts of girlfriends past. Now here's here's one. Eight crazy knots. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of eight crazy. Oh wait, surviving Christmas with Ben Affleck. Ah. Where he he uh, pays them to live with them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the Family Man. Yeah. That's one that we didn't put on there. 
And just looking a little bit more. Christmas Vacation 2. <laughs> Apparently, Paul Bart Mall Cop takes place on Black Friday. Did you know that? <laughs> no. <laughs> Would you say Mean Girls? No. It, I, I wouldn't say that. Okay. All right. I think we've definitely yeah. looked at this for all. Yes, we have. <laughs> all right. So, outside of yours, I've got uh, The Not Before, mm-hmm. Jingle All the Way, Catch Me If You Can, Serendipity, To Grandmother's House We Go. All right. So, how do we want to do this? I don't know. Oh, God. Are we ranking this right now? Yeah. Ugh. I know. Oof. It's been brutal. Oh, boy. All right. My back hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. So, okay. How about we whittle our list down to 10? Okay. Okay. And it doesn't have to be the, like, you don't have to mark them, like, in order, but okay. just the ones you definitely want to put on your top 10. Okay. Sorry, this is quiet, everybody. Six, seven, eight. I got two left that I can do. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do these two. Okay. All right. Okay. So now let's compare our top tens. Or okay. I mean, again, not in order. Uh, Home Alone. Got it. Okay. Scrooged. I uh, got it. This is in your top ten, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Spirited. Got it. National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Got it. The Santa Claus. Got it. Jingle All the Way. I do not have it. All right. Uh, Elf. Got it. It's a Wonderful Life. Got it. Uh, I don't think you read these off, so I doubt you have them on there. Catch Me If You Can and mm. Serendipity. No. All right. Okay. And what others do you have? Mickey's Christmas Carol. <laughs> <laughs> and Meet Me in St. Louis. Okay. Meet Me in St. Louis. Okay. I think the only way to do this is to take the outliers mm-hmm. and whittle those down between us so these because okay. the other ones are locked in mm-hmm. and then once we have every once we have only 10 okay then we'll rank them okay. it, it should be pretty i'd say it'll be pretty easy at that point okay all right so let's start with we'll start with uh mickey's christmas carol and do you want to do it like one to one like one versus one uh, whatever works for you, okay. I'm fine with. Um, so let's say between Mickey's Christmas Carol and say Serendipity. Okay. Um, my personal opinion, because obviously I didn't mark it, uh, is that Mickey's Christmas Carol. I do love Mickey's Christmas Carol, but I and it's probably not fair to Mickey's Christmas Carol, but I do already have Scrooged and Spirited on here, and I feel like that kind of that's a lot of Christmas Carol <laughs> uh, to also include Mickey's Christmas Carol. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. uh, the fact that it's shorter, you know, like if it wasn't, it's the same story that we've heard. Okay. But yeah. now, now you can. No, 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 no. I didn't think about it that way. I didn't. Like, it's really cool seeing these characters yes. do this. Yes. But like, it's, it, Outside of seeing these characters do it, I don't feel like there's much special to it. Mm-hmm. Now, I will throw you this. I will I will throw you this offer. Mm-hmm. We could put it as a special. Okay. Since one of the detractors is yeah. it being, uh, is it being uh, shorter? Yeah. Okay. So I will add this to Mickey's. As a special. Okay. okay. So now we've got final four. Okay. That'll make this a little bit easier. Uh, so we got Meet Me in St. Louis, uh, Serendipity, Catch Me If You Can, and Jingle All the Way. Okay. So of those four, which do you want? Which one do you want to take off? Because we okay. gotta we gotta get rid of two. Okay. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven. Maybe not. Hang on. Home Alone, Scrooge, Spirited, Christmas Vacation, The Santa Claus, Elf, It's a Wonderful Life. And then I've also got Jingle All the Way, Catch Me If You Can, and Serendipity. So we've got 12, so we need to get rid of two. Okay. So out of out of Serendipity, Catch Me If You Can, and Jingle All the Way, um, and Meet Me in St. Louis, mm-hmm. which one do you think is the worst? <laughs> <laughs> you I know what you're going to put. You I know what you're going to say. You don't want to hear that say. answer. I know what you're going to say. I uh, know you don't want to hear it. And don't just let me have a, like, <laughs> you know, give me, give me something to work with. I know nothing about meet me in St. Louis. Okay. I'll be honest. Well, meet me in St. Louis is about a family okay. around Christmas time. It's centered around Christmas time. Uh, there is singing. Okay. Uh, I mean, Judy Garland sings one of her most popular Christmas songs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it has a, it's, there's nothing really sad about it. I think, I think they might be, I'm trying to remember. I believe they're waiting for their dad to come home. Okay. Yeah. And she falls in love with somebody. Is it anything like, uh, gone with the wind? No, okay. no, 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 no. it's not long. <sighs> it's not long. Um, but maybe an hour and a half. God, gone with the wind took me 15 hours to watch <laughs> and I didn't even pause it. It was just that long. God, Matt. Uh, I wouldn't really necessarily. To me, I don't think it's the worst. <laughs> I think it's got a good storyline to it. Uh, Where would out of these four, what would, what number would you assign it? Actually, let's do that. Let's assign them a number. Okay. All right. And then we'll we can okay. <laughs> The ones with the lowest scores get to stay in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. All right. So. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say. What was Mimi and St. Louis Serendipity and what was that? Catch Me If You Can and Jingle All The Way. Okay. Okay. So, our number four answers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. So, number four, I have Catch Me If You Can. Okay. What do you have at number four? Like, is this the worst or the best? The worst. So, like, top four, right? The number one we love the most so it's worth one point. So it's kind of like golf. Okay. So it's uh, the lowest gets in. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Because if we rank it number one, then, you know, whereas number four is worse. Does that make sense? <laughs> or do you want me, do you want me to assign it differently? <laughs> okay, assign so it like, differently. My number, brain's not working like that right, right now. <laughs> right. Number one is worth four points. Okay. Number two is worth three points. Number okay. three is worth two points. Number four is worth one point. <laughs> okay. okay. I was just doing it to where the, the numbers would match the okay. point value. But okay. It's okay. We can do it that way. All right. Uh, so catch me if you can. I have four points for it. How much did you have for catch me if you can? I had it uh, for three points. Three points. Okay. Uh, let's go with, I had meet me in St. Louis at number three. So that is worth two points. Uh, no, wait, three points. Sorry. I had that one at four points. Really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, number two, I had serendipity. I had serendipity for, let's see. I had it for two. I think I'm doing these numbers correctly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, for Jingle All the Way, I had it at number one. I had it. 
had it for one point. <laughs> now, wait, wait. What do you mean? So you had it listed at number four? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that's so why so That's why I didn't like how you did this. No, we flipped it just now. And honey, you asked me, where did you have this one at? Okay. Okay. What was what your top four? <laughs> <laughs> I had at number one. Okay. Meet me in St. Louis. Okay. I had it at number three. Yeah. So that's two points for mine. Okay. Four points for yours. Yes. Okay. At number two, Mm -hmm. I had Catch Me If You Can. So that's worth three points. And I had it at my number four. So that's worth one point. Okay. And then number three, I had Serendipity. I also had Serendipity. So that's two points for each of those. And then I had uh, number four, Jingle All the Way. Okay. So that's one point. Mm-hmm. And I had it at number one, so that's four points. <laughs> so, oh god! <laughs> all right. So, uh, catch me if you can. You had that at number. I had it at number four. Okay, I had it at number two. So catch me if you can has worth five points. Meet me in St. Louis is worth seven points because it's three from me, four yeah. from you. Serendipity is worth. We both put it at number three. Mm-hmm. Or number... You put it at number three. I put it at number three. I put it at number two. So that's worth five points. Mm-mm. And then last we had... <laughs> God damn it. This isn't going to work. <laughs> it's not. Uh, <laughs> Jingle All The Way was worth five points. Oh, God. All right. So Meet Me in St. Louis is definitely <laughs> making it because it's got seven points. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put a star okay. there. Oh boy, Matt. <laughs> All right. And now we got a three way tie <laughs> between Catch Me If You Can, <laughs> Serendipity, and Jingle All the Way. Okay. I am not giving up on Jingle All the Way. <laughs> How about this? I will give you Jingle All the Way. Okay. Because mm-hmm. I gave you yeah. Mimi and St. Louis. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and like okay between your two is that the one that you would have said is the one you want in uh yeah that's probably the way we should have just done it yeah, yeah. oh well <laughs> sorry uh, everybody no nah, it's fun it's fun okay so now your 10 movies should read home alone scrooged mm-hmm. spirited national pan's Cru- <laughs> national lampoon's christmas vacation the santa claus jingle all the way elf it's a wonderful life meet me in st louis I think that's it. Okay. Right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, what? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. What, is, what do you have? I think I missed one. I got, okay. So Spirited, mm-hmm. Christmas Vacation, mm-hmm. Elf. Mm-hmm. Home Alone, mm-hmm. Scrooged, mm-hmm. Santa Claus, mm-hmm. It's a Wonderful Life, mm-hmm. Meet Me in St. Louis, mm-hmm. and Jingle All the Way. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, not. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, boy. One, so two, we need nine, another one. Three, four, five. Damn. Okay. So would you want to put, we've got Catch Me If You Can or Serendipity? Catch Me If You Can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I'm good with that. I'm good with that. Okay. I'm good with that. Good with that. <laughs> All right. All right. So now we've got to rank them. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Let's just talk these out. Oh god! <laughs> like I don't want to. I feel like if we do that point thing, I'll no, 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 no. I don't want to do that either. Um, I am willing to put Jingle all the way at number ten. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am willing to put Meet Me in St. Louis at number nine. You sure? Yes. 
This is such a random list. <laughs> we need to figure out a system. Okay. Well, we're also starting from scratch. Usually yeah. we don't do that. We add it to the list as we watch them. Yeah. Okay. I think the next step, I think we should try and pick what our number one is. Spirited. No. What? Really? I mean, I love Spirited. I was going to say it's Wonderful Life. Oh. Like, I feel like... I feel like it. I feel like it's a wonderful life. Is everything, like it just it doesn't, it doesn't do. There's nothing that. It's a wonderful life. Is the definition. Yes. You know. Yes. You think so? Yes. It's so good, Mm -hmm. and like it's got like a bit of a twilight zone. Yeah. But it's also like uplifting and shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, Uh, let me. I need to mark through these as we go. Okay, maybe in St. Louis and jingle all the way. Okay. What are you feeling for number eight? Scrooge. Yeah, I think that sounds good. Okay. I'm not seeing anything that I would put it above. Yeah. Okay. Uh, number seven, we've got, just so the audience knows, we've got Home Alone, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, The Santa Claus, Elf. Is that it? Yeah. Mm, for number seven? Yeah. I would almost say, I'm going to throw this out. Uh, I would put the Santa Claus. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to get in too big. (laughs) (laughs) You know, for it to be our number seven favorite Christmas movie of all time. We talk about it a whole heck of a lot. We really need to watch the goddamn series. (laughs) (laughs) Like, we just are so reluctant. I noticed uh, on Wednesdays in one of the the fourth grade classrooms they've been watching that oh show God. and i walk by i'm like that's not a bad idea <laughs> <laughs> all right uh home alone spirited national lampoon's christmas vacation elf and catch me if you can i'm gonna say this might be where we put catch me if you can okay now i'm, I'm double checking here though because i think here's the problem i think the other movies are mean more to christmas yeah but I, I definitely think, like, of all the movies on this list, I think Catch Me If You Can is probably the best made movie outside of maybe It's a Wonderful Life and okay. probably Meet Me in St. Louis. Okay. But I think on this list, it should be number six. Okay. You, you're cool with that? Yeah. Catch Me If You Can. Barry Allen. He's a kid. All right. So now we're in the top five territory. I would say Christmas Vacation. Really? Yeah. What do we got? We got Home Alone, Spirited, Christmas Vacation, Elf. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, because we already have number one. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, I'm glad it made it into the top five, mm-hmm. but I agree. All right. These last three are going to be hard. All right, we got Home Alone, Elf, and Spirited. I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw out, I'm gonna lob this. Mm-hmm. I think Home Alone is number two. I love Spirited. Okay, I love Spirited, but I Home Alone. It's Home Alone. You know, <laughs> like I mean, come on, it's Home Alone. I think, I think Ron Reynolds would would also agree. <laughs> But I mean, I'm I'm willing. I want to have this conversation though. Spirit's fantastic. I love Spirit. Okay? I know. I know. I love the music. I love the dancing. I love the story. I love Will Ferrell and Ron Reynolds. Nah, you're making a lot of good points. <laughs> like and it was su- so surprising. pretty, and it looked like a Broadway show. And uh, I have listened to uh, the see. I was going to point that out. You've been listening to that. Ba, la, 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 ba, la, 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 ba, la, 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 la. So good. Okay, number two, Spirited. <gasps> I did it. <laughs> That's 
that's what I say, man. You just gotta talk it out. All right. I think. Okay, we got Elf and we got Home Alone. Now that now that Home Alone, now that I've removed it from like being peak position here, I'm trying to think it through. If I, th- I think I'd maybe put Elf above Home Alone. No, I, no, I wholeheartedly agree with that. Yeah, yeah, I love Elf. I mean, I, I do too. Uh, don't get me wrong, I love Home Alone, but like, I don't know. Buzz's like, girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Woof. Woof. <laughs> like, I, it still makes me laugh and everything. And yeah. Which, it, which one? Home Alone. Oh, yeah. But something about Elf, man. Can I, I say, though, one thing. What? Na, 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 oh, no. Na, 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 I know one of Viv's YouTube videos she watches <laughs> that plays that music at the beginning. But no, nah, I'm with you. I think, I think, I, I think I'd put it. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Bye, buddy. I hope you found your dad. <laughs> well, and uh, uh, what's her name? Oh, Zoe Deschanel. Yeah, but Jody. Yeah. Yeah. And every time it ends, and like they're all singing, I tear up like a baby. Oh, I don't no. even care. It's, oh, no. it's so great. God. Mm. Oh, and the. Uh, Whoop, there it is. Yeah. I mean, that puts it over the yeah. top, obviously. Maybe it should be number one. Mmm, <laughs> syrup. <laughs> oh, I never thought about putting syrup in my coffee. <laughs> you're, my, you're my best friend. I keep telling you, you should do that. You got great ideas. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, everybody. All right. Here is the official Christmas. Hopefully awesome top, top 10. ten. Number 10. Jingle All the Way. Number nine. Meet Me in St. Louis. Number eight. Scrooged. Number seven. The Santa Claus. Number six. Catch Me If You Can. Number five. Christmas Vacation. Number four. Home Alone. Number three. Elf. Number two. Spirited. And number one. It's a Wonderful Life. I love this list. I think this is a great list. Mm. I feel very good about this list. Yes, I do too. Uh, So we actually had uh, sent out a form for people to join in the conversation uh, so we're going to pull them up real quick. And I just got, I think I got to sign in to it. Maybe. Sign in to Google. There we go. Na, 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 na. Did you know there's words to that? Yeah. You hear the kids singing it. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I've watched that movie enough to know. I fucking hate, it, the, I hate it, the second one. I used Check to love the second one yeah, as your, a kid. Open your Gmail app. <laughs> I have to verify it's me. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I used to watch Home Alone uh, during the summer as a kid. We had that VHS. Oh, really? Yeah. And Home Alone too. So we'd be watching Christmas movies <laughs> in the middle <laughs> of summer. Hey, Maggie, what do you want to watch? Home Alone. Who wore that tape out? I'm pretty certain the cover on it like started ripping. Oh gosh. Uh. Wait, what was this for? Home Alone. Oh, okay, sorry. I, it's okay. I, You're it's try- I'm factor. trying to vamp. You're fine. My two factor just was not wanting to. Why can, <gasps> why can I not see the? I can't see the form. <laughs> oh God. It, like I, I pulled it up on my phone, and like. Hang on. Maybe if I load the link this way. I don't know. Like, I've done... I had it on my phone, and that's what we're filming with. And so it just makes it a lot harder to to do this. Um, Keep talking about it. Oh. (laughs) I just find it funny. Like, there's kids that ask for Christmas songs and stuff at, like, springtime. And I was one of those kids, and now I'm like, no, we don't listen to that right now. <laughs> <laughs> or the like, Viv listening to Halloween music right now. I'm just like, of course you'd be listening to Halloween music right now. She even said, Halloween, Halloween. <laughs> oh, the edit button. That's what I have to hit. There, there we go. Oh, we're there back we in business. Go. All right, everybody. Responses. I was like, it's wanting me to fill out the form. All right. So we would like to thank all of those 
Uh, we had actually five people respond to ah. this. Uh, so thank you for uh, for sending in your answers. Um, I'll need to next time I need to ask for like a name that they want to be called by. Yeah. Like I've got I've got an idea, but uh, it doesn't like link them to mm. theirs. So yeah. Uh, anyway, we will go ahead and tell this. Uh, so first up, we got. Uh, I think I, I'll, I'll just use the first part of what I've got on here because mm-hmm. I don't want to give away any information. We got who dat ninja. Uh, they're up to 10. We gave uh, everybody the option to fill in up to 10 Christmas films. So we got Christmas vacation elf the night before jingle all the way hey. home alone, home alone too. Yeah. Home alone too made the list for them. Uh, I appreciate jingle all the way. Thank you. Uh, the night before it is, it is really good. Yeah, it and is. honestly, I love the message, uh, with Joseph Gordon Levitt's character. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think if we went top 20, I would definitely put it in yeah. there. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely a good movie though. Uh, R rated, but if you've not seen it, <laughs> check it out. Anthony Mackie is great. Mm, uh, he is, uh, top 10. This one is from Billy. Billy. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do something that I just didn't. Uh, we got, it's a wonderful life. Of course. Home Alone, Elf, Home Alone 2, and Christmas Vacation. Are we wrong about Home Alone 2 sucking ass? <laughs> I have like a... Love, like hate. No, not this. I have strong nostalgia for it. Mm. Like, I love... Uh, well, you have that guy. The guy that... Oh, Tim Curry. Yeah. I do love him. <laughs> um, but the the toy store and yeah. how he gets to new york and yeah. he gets to hang out in the the hotel I think, and he honestly, eats all that ice cream like it's like a kid's yeah like home alone was just like the basic you know oh yeah. you're home alone you get to do whatever you want to but no he's in a city yeah. all by himself and he's got his parents credit card with a lot of money yeah, yeah. i mean it's almost like blank check yes uh, yeah I I think that if it didn't if it wasn't for the third act I think that's where it falls apart for me yeah and like nothing against it it's yeah. just it's just the first one again yeah you know it's like oh instead of a paint can he's got a, a huge fucking yeah. bar or yeah. <laughs> and like I feel like the all the things that he has set up wasn't as as good and, yeah like yeah. they weren't as inspired as the first yeah uh, and the bird lady I don't know I just never been a big fan <laughs> of the bird lady it just freaks me out man. I don't know. <laughs> and like, she's just hanging out with him. They're like hanging out in a attic, listening to a choir music. or something. Yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know. Um, but I mean, it's, you know, not a bad uh, movie. No, it's not horrible. No. Would it make my top 20? Probably not. No. Uh, <laughs> all right. Next up from Mario. Mario. Yes. Mario Rivera. Thank you so much for uh, sending this in. We got, oh, he's got some, some ones we didn't talk about. Uh, up to 10 Christmas films. It's a Wonderful Life. Mm-hmm. I'm, I think we're starting to see a pattern about that. Uh, Hook. Hey. Hook. Not on, not on the, the Hey. List. I appreciate that. You know, I, I think I really need to give Hook another chance. Because I fucking hate Hook. He doesn't like Hook. It's true, Mario. I'm I love sorry. Hook. I'm sorry. I like, I just don't understand. Like, and I'd probably understand it now more. <laughs> but like, how but Peter Pan is a fictional character but he is also a real person, a real person. And I get it. I get it. She wrote books about the, the stories that they went on. Right. I get that. I don't know. It just is. It was just weird. It's just weird. Like he's watching a play about Peter Pan and he is Peter Pan, but he doesn't remember who he used to be. And Matt. That's the other thing. How do you just not remember? How do you not remember? Because some grownups don't remember being a kid. That does, No, no, <laughs> that's where it falls apart. All right. <laughs> And like, and remember when they, they're eating nothing, they're eating nothing. Mario, this is why we don't bring Hook up in our house. He gets very, 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 very upset about using his imagination. Why, why was the crocodile 40 feet tall? That's, that was another one. And listen, as somebody who came from the Disney Peter Pan going to this, I was just very confused. Okay. Now, I will say, there was a song that someone made out of the music from Hook uh, and the words and stuff. I think it was Pogo, I think was the name. Uh, and he's like, Shmee! That was pretty good. Uh, but yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know, it's weird. I, I'd probably like it more now. 
I think when I was a kid, I just didn't understand it. No. And like, I watched it. I was five. Okay. And Rufio. Here, here's Rufio. the thing. This might play a large part. Okay. I've okay. never told anybody this. Okay. Well, I've never told you this. Uh, Billy and Andy lived through it. So uh, we rented Hook to watch it. Yeah. Uh, so the first time I was watching it. Yeah. Uh, we were in our bedroom. Yeah. And I was on the top bunk. Yeah. We had bunk beds. And, uh, you know, it's not time. <laughs> You know, we're watching it, and, like, it's the part where, like, the windows, like, blow open. Mm-hmm. It's like, hook, or something, right? And then, no joke, boom! A fucking car crashes into the power line pole outside of our house, okay? Like, it's as close as, like, the one here, all right? Goes straight into it. All the power cuts out immediately. And, like, it's just this loud, boom, noise. And, like, that's that's what I remember about Hook. So wow. like that could be that could have been a reason I don't like that movie just just buried deep inside me, but yeah. Okay. Like I'm not scared of it. No. It's just you know that was that was my first experience with Mario. Hook. It's my mission to get him to watch Hook at some point. <sighs> Put it on the list. We'll watch it. Mom. Didn't we buy it? I think we bought it. Yeah. You, yeah. You said, should we buy it? I, I really need to watch it. Yeah. But yeah. I'll, I'm gonna buy it. I also <laughs> said that about Never Ending Story, and <laughs> that didn't happen. <laughs> Lord. All right, what a hot mess that one is. The next one is uh, from Gamer King. Gamer King, uh, theirs that they wrote in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Heck yeah, Elf and Polar Express. We're really, we're really sorry. <laughs> sorry for everything we said about Polar Express. <laughs> I apologize, <laughs> but thank you, thank you for your submission. Um, it's just the dead eyes, man. That's it. That's all it is. If they remade it live action, I think it'd be great live probably action. Probably a lot better. Yeah. It'd be wonderful live action. Actually, you know what? Tied into uh, Harry Potter. You know? Yeah. Say, say I was a wizard. There you go. <laughs> say was a wizard. Uh, this one from Nerd a Day. Hey. That's right, Carlos. Thank Carlos. you for writing in, Carlos. Uh, so he wrote in Nothing Like the Holidays, Elf, Christmas Bounty, Santa's Sleigh, Krampus. <laughs> Krampus or Krampus? Krampus. Krampus. The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, both the original and newer animated one. Never been a big fan of the Jim Carrey one. Thank you. That was, that was very true. Good job. Uh, and of course, Good man. he put, of course, Die Hard. <laughs> Carlos. Carlos. Very sorry about everything that I said about Die Hard. No, I mean, hey, you know what? That's cool. Whatever. Uh, additional comments. Uh, I've not like pre-read this. So oh, if everything like cuts off. <laughs> then you'll know that this was, went bad. Yeah. Uh, but we did have an additional comment section. And so Carlos left us this. He said, Merry Christmas, Matt and Maggie. It is I, your Santa recommended dose of nerdiness, Carlos, Aww. AKA your nerd a day. I uh, hope I did that well, sir. Uh, with the list I submitted, I would like to recommend at uh, two of these movies be watched. One, nothing like the holidays captures what is like to be Puerto Rican, certain aspects uh, unique to us around the holidays and surprisingly ends happily, but not in a perfect bow, like many Christmas movies. Okay. Sweet. Uh, writing it down. Writing it down. Okay. Thank you. Uh, number two, Santa sleigh. Uh, <laughs> he says, now this is a uh, grab a few drinks and snacks <laughs> movie. Uh, the premise is a famous Jewish pro wrestler, Bill Goldberg. Uh, so Goldberg, like, Goldberg, Goldberg, <laughs> Carlos plays Santa. Uh, but in this, he is the son of Satan. <laughs> what? It lost a curling as in the Olympic sports match to an angel and had to be good for 1000 years. Now that time is up and he can kill again. It does not take itself seriously at all. The cast and crew look like they're having fun. Goldberg met his wife on the set. The only Aww. thing... Uh, is that there is some humor that may not age well. So, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough. Thanks for the warning. Yeah. I wrote it down, that though. That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> I love I, love I kind of like, I, I think it's Santa, right up my... Santa's right, the yes. son of Satan. <laughs> That's right up my alley. <laughs> the, the weird stuff I watch yes. for anime. So, uh, <laughs> I like that. The fact is Goldberg, too, you know? Like, that's, like, it's ha- hilarious. How? <laughs> I love this. Yeah, no, we're. I definitely want to check out both of these. Yes, definitely. Um, but uh, but nothing like the holidays sounds really good, actually. Yes. So yes. I definitely want to check that out. Awesome. Thank you for that, Nerd Today. We appreciate your submission. If you would like to submit, uh, please keep on the lookout over at 
twitter.com slash hopefully awesome. I think that's how you do it, but it's at hopefully awesome is our username. Or if the uh, servers are back up, you can also go over to Hive. We'll be posting that there. Uh, we try to post on our Patreon as well. We have the links to this, and then it is uh, not paid. Like, you don't have to pay to see yeah. the link to this. Um, but yeah, so just keeping an eye on most things. I think the only place I didn't really advertise it was on TikTok because there's not really a good way to, yeah. to put some form submissions there. Uh, but even on our YouTube channel under the uh, community tabs. Uh, so definitely, we'll definitely be uh, posting a new one about the TV specials for next yeah. week. Uh, whether or not we do that for next week, it might be the week after. <laughs> At some point, Avatar comes out. Oh, so we're going to have that. Jesus. But I don't think it's next week. So next week will probably be this. Um, but yeah. That's going to do it, everybody. We made yeah. it. We made it through our oh, our ranking. And this is only three hours long. <laughs> I drew a tree. <laughs> hey, good job, Maggie. Look at that tree. Look at that tree. Uh, but that's going to wrap it up for us, everybody. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate it. We hope you made it through all this. Um, it's been... It was fun. It was fun. Maybe a bit crazy <laughs> way too long yeah uh, but it was fun so we hope you all had as much fun for us as we did doing it uh, but that is going to wrap it up for us today everybody uh, remember you can follow us on all of the platforms uh, we actually just started a new uh, podcast called five second podcast <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, only on the shorts feed of uh, youtube t- and tiktok i don't think i put them on instagram uh, but no, it is didn't. it's literally just to feed the the algorithm for shorts uh, so definitely check those out we've done three so far uh, and we should have one pretty much every day yeah uh, and it's just it's five seconds it's literally five yeah. seconds long it's nothing crazy ridiculous uh, but they're pretty fun uh, but yeah so that's gonna wrap it up for us everybody thank you for watching and as always have a hopefully awesome day bye